Okay, let's uh, continue on with some more Eternites, uh, where we we just had a train crash happen, and after the train crash happened, we ended up uh, uh, well, finding ourselves in a bit of a pickle. So we'll see how we go from here. Uh, let's just make sure that everything's working, because again, I this is the I I didn't check the uh, volume, and I I'm assuming that it was fine. Because I'm judging it based on the other side. I didn't check the volume for the VOD yesterday, so I will uh, do that. Uh, but I, I adjusted the volume already from... We had to, it was too low when I started, then I adjusted it to be too high when I added the thing, and then I adjusted it via the thing here. So we should be all good with this. Um, and should we keep going? So uh, let's load our game and see where we are going. I'm going to do it from the loaded save, not the auto save. That's one we save from. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so we do have to do a, a lot. Uh, we're still getting introduced to the game at the moment with the tutorials. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully it all A little bit of time to load. Um, we have more platforming to do or fighting, I guess you, you should say. We just saved. Uh, before, so. uh, no map is annoying, because uh, I do not know which way we're supposed to go. Uh, I'm assuming I can go both ways. We can do this! So assuming everything we can fight here is just going to, uh, like, here we go. Confidant skills. One of battle, press R2 to see what confidant skills you can use. Okay, uh, let me check this first. Uh, okay, so we've got a healing. Uh, healing skill. Get rid of the ranged ones first, because they're... Did you guys notice oh, something well, weird about the monsters? Yeah, they're all. So we have a five hit combo, home. and on the sixth oh, hit, I... you want to push R one, and it will do like a shoulder charge attack. Um, we can now heal with uh, Yuna, uh, and we also have uh, a couple of other Maybe his arm skills that we can uh, use. I think they said death blow was like if you uh, press circle when a certain thing appears and we'll do a, uh, mm. an attack, but they the haven't taught us here. about that quite yet, so we'll have to just see. Uh, I do have some certain things I have to, uh, select, but not right now. Ha, ha, so every, ha. uh, most of the dialogue options we have, uh, will give us points towards our social stats. At the moment, I'm not really focused on any of them because we need all of them up anyway. So we'll go and uh, like just pick whatever until we get to a certain point. I I'm missing a map. That's the one thing that I would like. I'm not sure how much of the map we can uh, explore, or if we're heading the correct way. So I think I'm heading backwards. Here. We have a uh, katana, a uh, well, our, uh, our right arm was severed, uh, dismembered, and we now have a katana that uh, uh, beam katana, I guess you could say. Oh, never mind. Uh, what is this? I don't know 
what I just did. I'm assuming I have to just keep hitting the door open. Like, I don't know what I just did then. It's a little confusing. What is that thing? Let's be careful and... Yeah, I think I... I like, if I was doing... If I was making this game, which I obviously am not, uh, I would add a map. Just so I have an idea of where I'm supposed to... Where I'm able to go. And you just went for it. Uh, that's probably... A, and then maybe just figuring out... Maybe, maybe some more combos, because uh, you do just normal square combos, and... You only get a finisher at the end of hitting that. Whereas, it, like, I would have liked if they had, like, a, you have a heavy attacks, but you can't chain them uh, in the same way you would train with, uh, crash makes you feel invincible. another game like this. Or other games that have this Honey, combat, I guess you would say. stop. Please. Uh, wait. Those blocks weren't there before. Oh, I think I, I see what we're doing here. Maybe we can this use might this be one of those, here. uh, uh, step on all the, uh, step on all the block puzzles. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yep, that's what it is. So, I'm assuming we're supposed to get back to the orb thing. Uh... Easy enough to go. And then back to here and then to there. That was a simple enough. Nice work. I was the one that noticed the blocks. You too, Chani. get like the relationships up we're gonna have access to better abilities than what they already give us um some of these characters we haven't unlocked yet and uh yeah i don't we uh, do not need to unlock all of these as a requirement for the trophies either so we do uh we, can, we don't need to worry too too much about uh it's saying right now i've got three black essence but i don't know if i can use it to buy uh anything right now. Ah, uh, never mind, I just bought something. Never mind, I just bought a, an ability. I just realized this now. Uh, this one costs... Okay, that one costs 10, so I wouldn't have been able to buy that anyway. Uh, uh, okay, so I bought a great sword, so we now have... Attacks can penetrate shield. I just realized this now. We, uh, I, I accidentally clicked on it, but it's, it's fine. Um, I probably would have gone and, uh... Well, this cost two. I probably would have gone and grabbed this. Because that at least would have given me... Press triangle holding R1. That would have given me something else. I guess it's fine. 
We'll find more of the essence as we go anyway, I, I guess, so I'm not too, too worried, hopefully. Sword skills, you get the black essence by finding it in dungeons or killing powerful monsters. Uh, nothing much really, we, uh, I started late again today, but uh, at least we're getting back into the swing of things. My, even though I took all those days off, my uh, average is not affected. Um, my average is still uh, at the same that it was, even though I took multiple days off, so that's a good thing I guess. Playing a new game though at the moment. Well, we started it yesterday, but uh, still light in the tutorial, I guess a little bit. Upgrade your skills in the skill tree. Use uh, start to access the skill tree from the main menu. But outside of that, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, okay, now we have uh, okay, that was what I was seeing before. Skills that are blue, we already have unlocked. Skills that are um, yellow are skills we can purchase. So, uh, right now we have a heavy attack that we can use by pressing triangle, which will deal with shields, uh, and now we have this, which is, while holding down R1, we are getting, uh, yeah, you did, you looked me right near the, uh, around the end, I believe, um, but I'm sorry to hear about the, uh, uh, pain issues. Hope that you can uh, get better uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you did lurk yesterday. I greatly appreciated that. doing to people oh look another chance for him to show off ah <sighs> Chani real fans of mine know how to be supportive but I, I guess that's how that I'm pretty well I'm happy with the like not losing my any average you despite taking it, the days off and I mean I've had a couple of we can do this That's like a... 
because I'm slightly behind my stream. Um, I just need to probably... I think I just the best way to get through this is just to attack a couple of times and then dodge. Um, and we're going to build up this elemental light thing so we can break the shield so we can do more damage. Uh, I do have heavy attacks now, so that's going to definitely uh, help out. Um, and then we also have the uh, sword attack, which is... If we press triangle while we hold down R1, it uses, uh, it, it damages them as well. So I've, I've got to remember that that's what we, we can do. And I've also got to use my healing in a way that's not good at getting... Yes! she can do because I... Her... I I don't know how to get her bar to go back on. Come <laughs> on. 
She's still going to heal. Okay, yes. I, I guess I'm just... Uh, What is this? So maybe we can only get so many heals in it. Because we used how many heals did I use in that fight? I think I used like three uh two or three heals at once just to see like uh how it worked. She might only be able to do that uh so many times for the battle. Looks cool actually. That might be why uh why it does that. Uh okay, this is the point where we actually need to pick something different, so no it's not. No? No. Seriously? I'll just take a picture for later. Can you take a picture of the artifact? Okay. But what's it for? What is this line? Should we follow it? There isn't any other direction we can go. So right now I'm just gonna remember five combo hits, R1 gives me something. Using triangle, uh, also it seems to have expanded the extra attack because of me pushing R1 for the uh, move as well. So uh, I've got that at the moment and we have the heal which doesn't seem to be working as intended, but... Is there an option in the menu that tells me like how, what it does? Um, I know she has a heal, but it doesn't mention about, like, specifically what... Uh, how many, uh... So, looking at this, so we've got 200 health, 80 attack, 60 defense, and 100 of... hand shaking, so I'm... is that... Teamwork ability, maybe? Um... Alright, where's this confidant skill thing? All it says is, while in battle, press R2 to see what confidant skills- It doesn't tell you how to get the confidant skills back, which is a little... weird. I'm assuming- I thought it was going to be something per battle, or that it would charge up per- uh, during the battle, but it seems to only be limited to... We can't attack this or do anything. There's no jump as well. We don't have a- have a jump. Uh, I don't know which way we're going again. <laughs> so I, I took a game over because I, I couldn't uh, get to the, uh, the gate in time. And we have to do this fight a second time? I, I, I don't understand this. I'm so why is there no, uh, like, You can't replenish the heals. Yes! We're gonna do the fight a second time. Maybe I should have saved the game. So I, I don't know why that's a, why that's a thing, and I still don't know how the healing works because I'm still on a. Yes. 
I, I guess we're supposed to just dodge, dodge that, wait for it to dodge, and then it'll open up the area. Maybe. Uh, okay, do save points. Do save points. So destroy train is obviously where we started, and then we're currently at the wall tower. Do save points somehow replenish money. Because this is a save point. Just in case I have to go back. Uh, save points do not replenish my... anything. Let me just save there then. So the bigger enemies give us the black essence. Where we we going? haven't found anything from white essence yet then. I guess we'll find out. Let's keep following this line. Probably gonna be another one of those uh, puzzles again. I mean, I, I do get that it's an indie game, so I have to kind of accept the fact that because it's an indie game, there's gonna be some things that are probably missing. But at the same time, I do want to uh, like a, a map would be very helpful here, and also a uh, like it telling me at least what I'm supposed to do for the thing. Things for it outside of when we interact with things, I guess. But Way all the go, uh, dude. all the conversations are voiced. wasted all of the heals that I could have had with Yuna on that first fight because I was still trying to figure out what I was supposed to do and I've now got no heals and we're not covering so if I die I have to go back to wherever it tells me to go because I, I don't think I can just freely save. Yeah so you can only save when you see those red uh, little icons. So this, if this is what I think it's supposed to be, we can dodge into it. Yes. That's how you do it. Let the, the, the thing target you and then just dodge and uh, you can get, open the door instead of having to just keep attacking. I 
think we're up to a point now where we have to start. Uh, there's some uh, options here that have uh, a buff. Uh, one option, and then nothing for the other one, so we want to make sure. What the make hell sure that we this? grab those. I knew it. I'm going to die. healed me so I guess after certain points it decides to just give you all the heals back so need to keep that in mind when I uh, think don't waste all the heals in a fight unless you absolutely need to try to use the one heal the entire time and uh, so we're at currently six black essence I think all right I guess this is the boss fight <laughs> Getting the dodges right. It's all good. Oh, I can't believe you beat it. But uh, Havoc, if you're still here, how have your streams More? been going recently? Really? You've been able to. Uh... I found you. Expand on what you were trying Whoa, to uh, update and stuff. What the hell is that? I'll explain later. Please the, uh, come the, with me. Uh, with the future tech. Oh, you're close to payout. That's nice. Yeah, I've been reading about that. It's like you need to reach, um... What is it? $50 in a month or something like that? And then they give you the, uh... First off, please address me as Aria and not Drone Lady. Now, are you okay? I think I might be a little traumatized. Four subs away, that's nice. You'll definitely get there. Uh, you'll definitely get there. Uh, this one here, we want to say dude sane because we need to get. Uh, the other one doesn't give us anything. Uh, totally. Okay, we have a few things here that we have to select. The second one is fine, but we select third one. We want to level up Yuna. Well, I'm glad you're all in one piece. 
Physically, at least. That thing looks so scary. I apologize for putting you in that situation. Think you better, yeah, I think I remember you saying you wanted to do a subathon. Um, I know Johnny did one recently, right? A few days ago he did a subathon. Our trains are usually more hack resistant. I would think about doing one at some point in time, but I want to, I, I would need ideas about what I would even do for that in the first place. I don't want to oh, just do one for the sake of being like, oh, uh, I, you know, doing one just because uh, I want subs. It's like, no, I want to do one because I want to give back to the community rather than just like not giving anything back. Oh. That might have been my fault. I like the idea of having incentives. Because um, I've seen some people do subathons and it's like they just do them for the sake of doing them. It's like I want to actually have goals. Community goals and stuff. What? That's why I try and do that. Um, to build up the audience. Do all I sorts of stuff like that. I might have pressed something I shouldn't. Gotta think about the bigger picture, is but I'm, I'm, at least that's the way that I'm thinking about it anyway. Press something you shouldn't. It promised me power! I thought it was the strange lady that gave you guys your powers. We told you she came through a dream, Chani. I was... Maybe she had a bad dream connection. I've always like thought about thought about it, but at the same time, I uh... want to commission the artist. Ah, who... uh, yes, I remember. Yeah, you were wanted to have the. Uh... Because I mean, that is a good way to build up. Uh... That is definitely a good way to build up, like, uh, oh, we need to, you know, we, we want to expand the channel a little bit, so we'll do the, uh... Do I need to tell you not to do that again, Chani? Right. Hang on one second. Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, give it a shout out for a second. Fallout 76, you were playing. Nice. Uh, hope that you uh, enjoyed. Uh, have been enjoying that. Yes, uh, traveling viewers, all, uh, of course. Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, that you enjoyed your stream. Welcome in everybody from uh, Zero's uh, stream. I am. Uh, I currently do a lot of platinum playthroughs. We're doing another one now. It's going to be slightly short. Uh, to fill in the time that I need to work on... Uh, yes. What would you like, Havoc? Um... N no? Do a lot of, uh, platinum playthroughs, uh, speedruns, reaction videos, Switch game stuff, all sorts of things like that. Good. Uh, but welcome in, everybody. I hope that you, uh, enjoyed, uh, playing Fallout. Uh, there was a new expansion, wasn't there, for 76 recently? Do another shout out too? Yeah, I can give another shout out. Um, let me just do that too. Yes, thank you for the uh, support and uh, and stuff as well. There's your shout out as well. Regarding the wall, shout out to everybody. We've tried for, everything uh, to get through. And yeah, that, yeah. Every uh, every conference I see, because uh, I do stream some of the conferences, uh, there's always something new for Fallout 76. Um, but unfortunately, we were we're constantly expanding on that game, which is nice to always see. I hate that we have to leave it all to you, but we're out of options. Yeah, we're doing a game in between Persona 4 Golden because I just wrapped up a, a, a 100 and. Uh, Yeah, it's all good. I, I'm happy to shout out people for thing everyone can support each other. I'll be in touch we all tomorrow reach the, with uh, more details. We all reach the same goal. 
For now, you can rest. I wouldn't say that I'm a fanboy of COD. I do like... Uh, I, I like playing campaigns. I like playing the COD campaigns. I'm not a big multiplayer online player, but the uh, the campaigns are always, uh, moves, which are always fun. I am looking forward to right Black Ops 6, though. Um, I saw the, like, what, 40-minute conference they had, breaking down everything, and it looks like they're actually trying to do, like, a big expansion to the uh, campaign for that. I am going to go talk to Yuna and apologize. Yeah, well, it's, it is a community thing. Like, my, uh, I... What am I playing? We are playing Eternites. It's a indie Persona-esque game that's based on... I was going to say it's based on relationship stuff with social stats and things, but... Uh, 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 a quick rundown. Uh, dating apps are bad. Um, dating apps are bad. The, it yeah. brings about the apocalypse. But in exchange for that, you gain access to a beam katana for an arm. So, is the trade-off worth it? I don't know, but that's basically the premise of this game. Uh, so far. World ending apocalypse, uh, beam katana arm, and dating apps are bad. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You're bringing people not to, uh... Yeah, without trying to spoil something. Because I, I haven't played the game yet. But that's that's the best way to put it. Um, basically, uh, the character that we are playing as... Uh... Gained a power by having his right arm... Lip, uh... Uh, ripped off. Like, the, I thought it was going one way, and it's already changed three different directions. So, um, we'll just have to see. But we do have a couple of things that we have to do before we, uh... Uh, continue the story. Mostly. Um, so we have access to free roam at the moment, but we need to talk to specific people, otherwise, uh, we don't build their relationships up, so... We're looking for, uh, Yuna, who is our first, uh, companion. Um, so we just got another, uh, upgrade. So, Death Blow allows you to deal devastating damage to a target enemy um, when we see the Death Blow indicator. Uh, we'll grab that. But yeah, it's a it's an independent title. Um, I, I think it's made by mostly one person, so... Um, again, I, I, I always say if I'm playing an independent game, go and support your indie developers. And think they're the people that actually have to... Uh, you know, work a lot more tirelessly on their uh, games to make them sure that they work and be bug-free and stuff. Um. But we're, we've just come down from like a lot of... Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of amazing indie games. Um, it's just unfortunate that like... Uh, that's where, like, there was a, one of the conferences, um, uh, the Among Us developers, um, they were there, and they were there to announce that the Among Us TV show was getting an adaption, and they said, well, we don't need the, t the rest of the time that we've bought, so we'll just give it to, like, a bunch of independent games, because, you know, we, uh, we were once independent, so let's, uh, so I guess that's our room, we don't want to go there yet, um, let's talk to Yuna, shall we? So I, 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 I like that they did that. Um, I don't think any of these matter right now. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. I can pick anything. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and talk to a unit. There are some things I need to select, just so they give us a little bit of extra um, points. Is that a doorbell? Oh, never mind. 
least we knocked. Just a moment, I'm changing. But yeah, I, I look at indie games the same way I look at like um, you didn't streaming as well. It's like right? you know, if if all of the smaller channels help each other out, then everybody can reach the status of a bigger channel. Versus uh, if only the bigger channels help out the bigger streamers, then they're all gonna stay around the same. So actually, don't answer that. Um, if we all look at ourselves as independent uh, streamers and we band together and work as a unit, then everybody can reach the same goal. Um, I think that's the best, a good way to look at things. Uh, we want to pick this option because of uh, the extra... I okay, said uh, level shut up! Points. Okay, she loved it. I know. That's nice. Anytime we have a love heart option is, uh, is good for the relationship points. Gives us a few extra things we can do as well. Oh. I can't believe Chani did that. We could have died. Uh, he apologized or you left too soon. Uh, he did apologize, yeah. Uh huh. He apologized. So we are going to get a trophy coming up for getting a relationship to level R1 for the first time. Is that really all? But all the rest of these options, we can pick whatever we want to, really, um, for points. Uh, so most of the dialogue options in this game give you points towards full stats, either confidence, uh, uh, courage. I think it was confidence, courage, expression, and acceptance. Uh, we all make mistakes, or apologies can be hard. Um, I, I mean, apologizing can definitely be hard, depending on what, what's happened. Johnny did something he knew he shouldn't have, and... So think of it like a Persona game. We have, uh, bits of relationship building with our social links and party members, and then in between that we have, uh, going to areas and fighting, uh... You were here defending him! It's a... What's the best way to explain this combat? I would say, uh... Third person, uh... Hack and slash, I guess? Uh, where we have a, 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 a beam katana like as our weapon that protrudes out of our arm. You know, it's hard to make real friends in the entertainment industry. And it's always the right arm, so uh, one thing we found out early on was um, the characters, um, well, at least the people that are around when the apocalypse was going on, um, it seemed like they were being hunted, because we found a lot of uh, a lot of dead bodies, and uh, oh, so all of their right arms have been severed, and Jisoo. it seems like someone's trying to take the powers of people that have these, because uh, Yuna, our character here, uh, she's a healer, so... Her right arm has a uh, circle on it, why, but, um, but it's not glowing like ours is. It never felt like she wanted anything from me, other than my company. We could spend hours talking about music, the pressure, everything. But then, it happened. Jisoo, are you there? I need you to come pick me up, Jisoo. Um, can't you get somebody else to pick you up? No, everybody else is drunk. I need you, Jisoo. <sighs> okay, where are you? That's a bar, Jisoo. I just need a minute. Yeah, and the paparazzi just needs a second. Jisoo, this could ruin your career. 
Don't be so dramatic, Yuna. It'll just be a second. Worrying about you isn't being dramatic. Jisoo, you came! It's been too long! You weren't lying? You actually know Jisoo? I told you I was childhood friends with Jisoo. So if you're wondering about Jisoo, we haven't met this character yet. This is the first time I've been introduced to them, but uh, when everyone went underground, when the uh, world ending event happened, uh, we uh, don't know where they went. So Yuna hey! is uh, essentially Can looking for... we have a for... picture? Yuna is looking for Jisoo. Um, we're still trying to figure out what's going on, and the other character that's with us is uh, basically just along with the ride, along for the ride, uh, as well. Come on, Jisoo, it's just a picture. They've been waiting forever. Uh, but Yuna is a. Uh, I don't think she's an idol. Um, I, I I guess that I guess she's a pop star because uh, they. Uh, so we're on June 3rd, there was a, a concert advertised for June 10th. They showed on the television and she was all over the TV, so... I think she's like a pop star or a big Wait, celebrity. Not here! Um, that's why, uh... Okay, everybody she's smile! Jisoo, a musical prodigy, is causing a stir online. After a photo of her drinking at a bar surfaced on social media. Fans have expressed confusion and surprise at this recent development. I wanted to defend her. But management told me I couldn't. To be honest, when they said that, I was relieved. That way, it wasn't my responsibility. But it was. I was there. I knew the truth. But I was scared. What if they thought I was drinking too? It's kind of strange. I've never shared this story before. I wonder how you got it out of me. I'm cool or it was easy. I mean, we, we kind of just wanted to talk to you. Um, again, we're also silent protect, uh, silent protect, so we can't, uh, we have no voice in this game. Everyone, uh, if the dialogue speaks for us. Um, I still can't believe you forgave Chani. There is some funny dialogue in this, though. Uh, so when we were going into the bunker, uh, the friend that was with us was like, oh, I'll grab all, all of the supplies because, uh, you know, the world, the world could be ending. And, you know, instead of grabbing your essentials, like your food, your water, your, you know, weaponry, anything like that, he decided to grab uh, all of his dirty magazines and bring them to the bunker because... Good night. That's considered essential viewing, I guess, for him. Um, you know, I guess we can eat paper. Alright, rank one. So we unlock instant heal level one, combo finisher HP level one, and element elemental fire one acquired. Alright, set the trophy up first, just so that it doesn't disappear. Okay, the start of a peculiar bond. Never mind, we, uh, first relationship, uh... Alright, we're gonna have another tutorial here just because, uh... Yeah, and basically just gonna... Yeah, nothing to worry about until the next day, right? Yeah, nothing to worry about until the next day. I see you've already bonded a bit with Yuna. Alright, now we're getting introduced to Lux. So, uh, this character here, um, at the start of the game we, uh... Our friend convinced us to use a dating app, and uh, we got matched up with this character, and then we went to sleep, and uh, found ourselves with our arm 
uh, severed, so, uh, this character bestowed upon us powers to be able to... You can break through ice barriers now. Um, this character bestowed, uh, bestowed upon us powers to be able to use the, the, the lightsaber arm. Um, and now we're getting more tutorial stuff, so it's a... Uh, the only way to break an enemy's barrier is to use the correct elemental type, uh, let's see the left, so, um, fire beats ice, ice beats fire, lightning beats dark, maybe, maybe it's darkness, and then darkness beats light. Some monsters have stronger barriers that require multiple strikes from the elemental fist. The stronger your bond with your confidants is, the more times your elemental fist will strike the barrier. How about Chani? Is he getting anything for this? Because he hasn't done anything so far. With him. I have something else in store for him. Bonds are a powerful thing. Oh, she also said uh, in exchange for our arm being severed, we would also get a. Um, she would. Uh, there'd be a parade. So um, it's up to the individual if they think a parade is worth losing their arm. But uh... in fact. They're the source of my and by extension cool. your power. The stronger the bonds you forge, the stronger the power I've given you will become. But be careful. Bonds can become all-consuming. You can lose yourself in them. Your humanity. Bonds can give you love, empathy, purpose. Powerful things that some would give everything to experience. Even what makes them them. Alright, June 4th. So uh, every day has a day and night. So we can do stuff during the day and do stuff during, during the night. Um... There are more- these are more story conversations, but we do need to... So, uh, yeah. so Make sure we like select a certain for uh, option for one of them, just to get an extra half point. Now, I was the only one that First didn't have any power, and I got desperate. It's okay, Chani. I forgive you. What? Really? Why? It's because... Um, I, I just did, okay? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm, now what? We try not to die. Laughed and laughed, knowing that if you stopped, uh, you would cry. I'll try not to talk during the the uh, discussion, like the actual uh, dialogue. But sometimes it's hard if you if I want to like uh, uh, chat with people and also like just okay. Like, discuss so the we story, have to go but... through two of these walls, which are definitely full of monsters. All to get the stone and turn people back to normal? Not just people. Everything. I love normal, but what is normal? Well, I, I would agree, what is considered normal? Like, uh... Certainly not you, tentacle boy. Everyone, please come inside. Apologies. I spent the whole night researching. Anyway, I've discovered that the giant you saw last night is an infected hacker. He has developed the ability to hack intuitively. And he's been using that ability to draw people to the wall. But 
Why is he doing that? I don't know, but he's currently attempting to hack into our train. Based on his hacking methods, I have calculated that he will succeed in five days. Okay. So I guess they're giving us a timeline now. Um, this is very Persona-esque as well. However, if you can find his main computer, I can stop him. So I guess we have five days to prepare before uh, we have to go and stop the whoever the hacker is. Where is it? On the other side of the wall. Of course it is. Now, inside the wall, did you find anything like a path? Huh? The glowing line! Yeah, we never saw where that led us to. It's worth seeing if it leads to the other side. Remember, you have five days before our train is hacked. If we lose the train, it will be impossible to prevent Umbra from awakening the stone. I'm still trying to figure out how do we get the train back, because I'm... Fairly certain the train that we were on last stream well, crashed. So, do we have another train now, or is it just like and then one of the? We'll all turn into of the... one of them. Um, how much time do we have before the stone's awakening? Because I have not, I have not seen the movie, but this uh, this feels like it's um, similar to that. Uh, is there the the train to is it train to Bassein? There's a mo uh, I'm pretty certain there's a movie where there's a zombie apocalypse and uh, for that, please have a look at this gauge. And the 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 people on a train. Yeah, I think I think that's what it is. I think it was called Trained at the Same. This is a measure of how much Umbra energy is in the atmosphere. An amount that will only increase as Umbra awakens the stone. Fortunately, at the current rate, we still have a chance. Cool, cool. Um, but what happens if we hit red? The world as we know it would begin to end. Uh, <clears throat> Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. We we have plenty of time. Unless, of course, Umbra finds the totem. Uh, give me a second. Uh, more bots. Be gone. Should be... Yep, bots gone. Okay. What's a totem? The totem is an artifact that speeds up the awakening of the stone. But it hasn't been seen in 800 years. So don't worry, Umbra I'm still won't not find. sure why the, uh... The, the bots are so weird. Um, I s usually only get them if I'm over two views. But then I also get ones when I'm not over that, so... Well, now that you said that... Like, maybe they're just programmed will. to just only... It could either just be completely random, or based on, like, if someone has a certain amount of viewers, because... Regardless, I don't get them it all seems the time. your time has come, Chani. <laughs> Are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm ready to receive my power! Uh, Chani, I would like to ask you to please manage expectations. Oh, uh, so I'm not getting powers? Oh, you are. It's just that they may not be amazing. Don't worry, whatever they are, I'll make them amazing. I'm sure you will. Here it is. I, I can feel the power growing inside of me. So, right. what, what can power I do? Are we getting? Spitfire? Oh, Fly? Boss, but, uh... 
Your power is the ability to make him stronger. Okay, so his ability is just to give us buffs. Really? That's it? Chani, I promise your support so he's a, will he, be fine. He's support. He's playing support, basically. So, I'm support. So now we have Yuna who heals us. Um, so she gets an ability that um, if we stand in the circle, uh, it basically gives us a regen. As long as we're in the circle. Uh, I guess the similar to what... Uh, is that what Soldier 76 does in Overwatch? Um, he like plants down an area and uh, basically anyone who stands in it okay. uh, gets I'm healed. I'm going to be the best support ever. And I guess now we're gonna get like a Tell me everything, Arya. similar thing, but uh, for attack or HP buff or not. I guess that's what we're gonna do. World's changed a lot in the last couple of days. Just when I got a date to meet soon. Um. Well, I mean, I I've changed because we have a. Yeah, puberty's hitting you pretty our, hard. We've lost our arm. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I wonder if our school is destroyed. If anything can survive an apocalypse, it's gonna be a school. I hope so, or I hope not. I mean, I don't want... I wouldn't want anything to be destroyed, to be honest, so... Really? I hated those bastards. Okay, there's a couple of things here we do need to select because they uh, give us some. Uh, Man, if they could just see you now. Powers. Hang out with Yuna? Well, they'd eat their words. So we want to say and choke on them because the other response doesn't give us a point. And then for the next one, we want to say sorry because the other. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna support the hell out of you, dude. <sighs> but honestly, <laughs> why couldn't I help in a cooler way? <sighs> Never mind. It. <laughs> Let's just move on. Making me strong. I mean, making me strong is cool because we. Uh, that means that uh, I can defeat everything faster. I have to heal as much. Dude, you can turn your arm into a sword. Best defense is a good offense, um, as they would say. Now, I'm sorry for the way I acted in the wall. It wasn't cool. So it's, it's fine. Anyway, that's why I started Wingman Services. There's always got to be that uh, one character in the game where. Oh, the, uh, they're jealous of the protagonist because they're the protagonist and wanted to be the one that stands out, but... I'm ready to help you with all of your wingmanning needs. Then they gain their, uh, their confidence via, like, some heroic moment or something. Come around later, and Usually. I'll show you what I can do. Alright, so Chani buff 1, level 1, HP 1 and HP 2. Uh, we'll check and see what those do in a second. Because uh, we might be able to upgrade them. Uh, before we get into uh, what else we have to do. So, calendar gameplay. You are free to spend your day as you'd like. However, you don't have unlimited time. The wall must be dealt with before the timer runs out. So, we've got five days. You can talk to Arya at the hologram station to go to the wall. You are unable to go to the wall at night, so remember to plan accordingly. Spend time with your confidants and it will become more powerful. Okay, so it's very much like Persona, where you can only go to uh, the areas to deal with the fighting uh, one time of day. Usually it's a, during the daytime, so... Uh, let's uh, see what we unlock now. So, uh, nothing for us at the moment. Uh, Yuna and Chani each have their own... Uh, I don't think so. Let's see what they have. So, AoE heal level 1 creates a zone of healing that gradually restores HP, which is what we already could do. Um, instant heal level 1, a powerful spell that instantly restores a large amount of HP, but we need to be rank 1 for that. Um, 
which will heal us instantly. Her element's fire, so a fire element attack that breaks through ice barriers. So we have electric and fire, I think, now? And light, I get light. So it's uh, four elements. Fire, ice, lightning, and light. Um, we currently have the light and one, and we have fire. And then AoE heal two increases the total amount of HP restored by 1.5 times. This also does not affect the duration of the spell. And we have a bunch of blocked stuff. And combo finish at HP level 1. Finishing a combo restores a 2% of HP proportion to your total HP. Good. Getting more healing, which is nice. Because I... And she has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ranks. We have 4 ranks. And she has 7. Chani has 5. So Chani has... Uh, Decreases SP uses by 5%. That's probably what the, uh... That's probably the gauge that we need to figure out, um... With the healing. And then this incre decreases by 10%, so probably all the way to 25. And then HP 1 increases HP by 5, 6, and 7. At the moment. Uh, so that's looking good, though. Almost at level 1 expression. Uh... Yuna's now appeared in the in this area too. I don't know what these icons mean yet. We haven't seen what those are for. Uh, we have a lot more of those. Uh, we got more lore. Inside a vault, hackers and heroes. After escaping the wall, you discover that Chani was the reason you crashed into it. Yuna shared with you that she has a past full of regrets, how she wished she defended her friend. Arya told you there was a monster trying to hack into your train and that you must destroy his servers if you are to have any chance of retrieving the stone in time. Right, so first things first, we have like a lot of things we can do um, today. Um, basically, we have until the 9th of June to spend time with other characters, um, as well as nighttime events. Um, so we can spend time with Yuna, which will level up her confidant link um, as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to follow like what the guy has just to make sure that I do that first. So we can train with Yuna as well, which is like a mini game to earn some essence uh, stuff to upgrade. Uh, we can also spend time with Chani, which is also uh, basically the same thing, and train with him as well. Um, or we can go to the wall. So um, basically, usually the best thing to do with these games is uh, do the dungeon section first. That way you um, have as much time to spend doing anything else with teammates. If you do it the opposite way, there's sometimes a chance that the uh, dungeon will... Um, uh, that, that you might run out of time. So we'll do the dungeon first. Because it is the 4th of July right now. The uh, 4th of June at the moment. So... Um, I think we'll do that first. Um... We'll do the dungeon first, because that's actually some gameplay outside of that, and then we'll go and uh, continue forward. Uh, let's just make sure that I haven't got any... Make sure that I haven't got any dialogue options. Okay, there, there are some dialogue options I do need to select. So let's, uh, let's do the dungeon first. We uh, did do that a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't want to spend time with anyone yet, because that will cost us a day. So let's, uh, figure out where we're supposed to go. We've got Yuna and we've got, uh, Chani. I think we're supposed to go here for the, the dungeon. So we'll do some story stuff first. So, are you ready for the wall? Right, we'll do that first. Uh, this also will give us points that we wouldn't get, uh, elsewhere as well. So we can probably, uh, be a little bit closer to some things. Let's, uh, let's go to the wall. See what we're in for. That we can show some gameplay off at least. Um, right, there's no map unfortunately, so I can't see where I am. Uh, where I'm going exactly. Um, and we can only fast travel and save to. So obviously we have the train, uh, which we were just on, and we're currently at the first wall entrance. So. Um, these also act as our save points. So, uh, every time I see one of these, I will make a save, uh, just in case. Um, but the game does want to save, so... Uh, let's, uh, get things going.
Okay, I'm presuming that I have to follow the uh, purple line, so uh, anytime we don't have to do that is... Uh, Any time that I don't have to do that means I can, should probably go to that site first. I think that's a good idea. Instead of going to... Uh, instead of going towards the uh, rainbow line here, it might be better to veer away from that and just explore first, because I don't have a map, so it's a little bit hard to navigate everything. Look at all these trains. And phones. Do you want power? That's the same link that Charlie used. Food. I guess. Hey, it's I just like those uh, uh, Twitch bots that we get. Do you want free viewers? Do you like a? Uh... Maybe this infected hacker is. The end of the line as well. This is why you don't. Uh, this is why you don't click on those links when, we, when they uh, appear on the stream. Yeah, it would make you, uh, sense for a scary them. dude to protect Otherwise, the gate. Otherwise, the apocalypse could happen as well. So dating apps and Good. Uh, that means nobody's protecting him. Bots are bad. Right, there's our uh, uh, beam katana. Uh, is this going to be a puzzle? <laughs> Okay, um, so the objective here is what we, uh, we need to, uh, we have a little ball here. Uh, is it a ball or a ring? More like a ring, I guess. Uh, we need to roll, uh, we need to get all the, uh, squares that are currently colored, uh, uh, red to be blue. So all of them to be blue, and every time we go over them, it will change. I've already made a mistake, I think. I actually know I had not made a mistake this point. Um, this is enough little love uh, lock puzzle. You're pretty good at this. Yeah, dude. Well done. starting to get into a rhythm. Dodging is much easier if I if you spam it, uh, and also death blow um, essentially is like a takedown move, I guess you would say, similar to the Batman games, I guess. That's probably how I would explain it. Uh, so you can see in the top left, that spinning flashing thing means we have an elemental shot. Uh, so that means that when we find an enemy with uh, uh, like this, that has shields, we <laughs> can use that, and, uh... Get a... Basically, we get a super move. Okay, there's two ways to go right now. Maybe just the one way. Like essence, uh, I'll take that. Uh, anything we can upgrade with that? No. Okay, one thing I definitely would like is a is a map. Um, it just seems like, a, especially if this house sometimes it looks a little bit too dark. Trying to find where I'm supposed to go. 
the only light source we really have is the, the, the saber. And I can't jump, so... Um, I feel like I'm just going to be wandering around a bit, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Can't attack this. Usually it would be like follow the lights or something, but the something's happening around here where it's not uh, letting me go forward. Or jump around or do it. Um, there we go. Sorry. No, I didn't pass through it. There's nothing in this room. I, I just went into this room before. There's nothing here. It's just a four by... Did I... Have I made a mistake somehow? I don't think that I have. There's supposed to be a laser door. That, that, that's weird. So there's supposed to be a laser door that's... If, that's, if this is the right map it is. There's supposed to be a laser door that we can go through, but the, the laser isn't there. This is... Oh. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to line up the... Yes! We're going to, like, time your... Uh... uh to get through the laser doors, you want to uh, basically allow for the lights to target you and then right at the last second, dodge. So you go into slow motion. And then by going to slow motion, you then have enough time to rush through and uh, beat that. So that's what you want to do. I uh, just saw someone running, so there's someone in here. now. I guess it was just needing to open up the actual uh, combat before we uh... Yes! There's two ways. There's a way over here as well. Okay, more Black Essence. Um, more Black Essence no upgrades at the moment. What do these require? I think they require a lot of rank ups is probably why it doesn't, a lot of stuff doesn't unlock. Uh, how do I get out of here if I... Maybe it takes me around the same way? Yes! Monsters 
have gotten tougher. Alright. That's so All the way heavy. Up here. Let me just give a shout out. Thank you very much for the raid. Looks like it's the correct way to go. So let's uh, try and avoid that. We can do this. Where to next? Is there just nothing in here? It's uh, I, all done by one uh, uh, indie game done by one uh, person. So um, at first I thought it was gonna be like Persona, but uh, you get a little bit of relationship stuff, social link stuff, and then you uh, get to fight things with uh, a beam katana. So uh, all by uh, most of the game is done by one person though, which is what impresses me the most. Uh, everything's fully voiced, uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've really, really liked it so far. Just tell me when! I always say, support the ind independent developers, um, they make some really, really underrated games that not a lot of people play, but if enough traction goes around, then, uh, then you will. Yes! <laughs> Sections are. It, it, it's almost as if we're like Green Lantern. Some of my we can make a. Uh, we can make our sword arm into a, a hammer now as well. We can be Reinhardt. Uh, uh, um. I bet these weren't even owned by real fans. 
People went so crazy for these that they became collectibles. So a bunch of greedy bastards bought most of them just to make money. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Such a bad liar, Charlie. Yeah, that must be it. Guess he isn't. Oh, let's just keep going. Look at these cages. Yeah, there were infected inside of these. According to my readings, they're being used to power a supercomputer. Somehow. I don't think I got an up. Actually, no, we do have an upgrade. Um, sure. Allows you to parry enemy attacks when done successfully. It gives you a boost to your death blue gauge. Okay, I'm not very good at parrying, but it unlocks other. It unlocks. We can take an extra hit before dying. So we definitely want to at least have this available. I'm terrible at parry and dodge stuff, but uh, if it gives me access to something better later, then I'll grab it. Because why not? How do we parry anyway? Uh, press circle right before an enemy attack visualizes the blue ping. We'll parry that attack. S successful parries give you a boost to the death blow gauge and something. Okay, so dodge is X and then uh, dodge is X for the red uh, giveaway and then circle is uh, blue is parry with the circle button. Duly noted. Way did we come from? Is the, the again? I I will emphasize this. We need a map. Uh, that's the way we it was blocked. This is the way that we were thing. So I'll probably be here. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to avoid. Yes. Uh, we want to go in. Uh, Intentionally get hit by the uh, thing so we can dash through and uh... Be careful! <laughs> Because we're following the, we're following the thing here. So maybe I shouldn't go this way yet. There's also something right here, the essences, essence. So you definitely want to grab that first. I don't want to uh, miss out on any extra uh, little, um, uh, little things. Maybe we go around to grab it. This is a safe point. Make a save. Uh, no, this is the way we're supposed to go. So there was three doors back there. Um, I guess I just picked the wrong door because there was three different ways to go. Um, I'm assuming I can make my way back. I hope so, at least. If I can't, then I will be in trouble, but I guess it's okay. Uh, what now? How oh, I see. It? Okay, what have we got to remember? Green, green, green. So, green, 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 pink, pink, yellow, pink, pink, green, green. Or up, 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 left, left, down, left, left, up, up. Uh, probably better to remember the actual, like, uh... So, three green, two pink. It's kind of, it's kind of like a rough... Uh, you really need to remember the first half of the puzzle. Um, three green, two pink, one yellow, and then you just do the reverse. So, um... So glad you were right! Okay. 
Wow, so dude. Um, so one, two, three, uh, then it was, I gotta remember both, okay, I gotta remember both, uh, we don't touch right at all, go right at all, so it should be two, one, two, and down one, uh, and then left two, and then up three. Okay, that was the first one. We made it! I'm not scared of fight. Careful! <laughs> items up uh in the other area but oh no there's more huh all right I this one's gonna be hard to heights anymore chani uh so up up right up 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 left 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 up up okay, as long as we can see the thing here we should be okay so it was up 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 and then up, up, and then right. Because that's red. Up, up, right, up, up, up. One, two, then... Never mind, I... fell. Ah, uh, you know what? There's actually some stuff here. I can grab a... I didn't realize I made a mistake. I can, uh... There's actually free, uh... Free upgrades up here, so maybe it was better that I actually fell down. Free essence materials. We'll take that. Gonna be lying around. Uh, I guess that means I have to go back now and do the puzzle, but at least we grabbed a. Uh, maybe we can go up here. I just like how we fell, but the other ones didn't. Um, so up, up, right, up, up, up. Up, up, right, up, up, up. Left, 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 up, up. Up, up, right. Wait, why am I getting the right one? Is it, is it left, not right? That, that's definitely red. It's definitely red, and red's showing right. So, up one, up two, and then the right is right here. Unless it's the reverse? Because I, I went up twice and it was okay, so is it the reverse? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's up, up, left, 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 up, 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 right. Let's try that. Up, up, left, up, up. Then it's left four times. One. Can I not count? Did something change? Can I not count? I'm seeing two ups, so is it not counting one of the... Oh, I get it. I get it. Never mind. It might not be that. It might be the order they appear. Because I've already tried up, up, right, and then up, up, left, and it didn't work. So it might be the order they appear in, because it changed when I pushed on this. So it's up, up, up. It's up, 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 left four times, then up, up, right, up, up. So three up. Four left. Two up. Yeah, 
Let's try that again. Three up. So, one, two, three. Then, left four. One, two, three, four. Then it was up two. Then it was, uh, right one. And then up, up the remaining two. There we go. We survived! There we go. That was kind of exciting, we right? We had to do it in the order that they appeared in the... Oh, yeah! Ah, careful! In the order. Ah. You're on electric, so, uh... You were bad. Should be up on YouTube at the moment, so um, if you would like to see the P4 ending, I do have a playlist of all of the uh, all of the parts of Persona 4. So um, it's not straight away. Actually, is it not? No, it's not straight away. We uh, uh, we got uh, what was it? Um, I spent like the first couple of floors just fighting and then we did the ending, like the actual boss fight at the end and the credits and stuff in my thoughts, but uh... How was the Tonite's? Really, really good. I'm actually, uh... This is a... Uh, for, for being a game that is only made by one person, for the most part, um, this is a uh, really, really enjoyable. Very, very fun. Um, you still get your little social aspect that you would in the Persona games. Uh... And, uh, you also get a really, uh, interesting story. Um, it's been going all over the place at the moment, but, uh, it's been really, really fun. The combat's pretty fun to do, it's, so... uh... What? Do monsters like dancing games? It's been very, very good. Did I see the new Twitch app? Uh, no, I haven't seen it, because I don't use, um... I don't, uh, view Twitch on my mobile, um... I only had it on there just so I could, uh, uh, in case I need to fix something while I was on the fly, if there was something that went wrong. Um, I have heard that it is terrible. Um, it looks more like TikTok than Twitch, is what I have heard described as. Um, it sounds like they're trying to be TikTok, but they just can't be because it's not going to work. Um, you've used Twitch less because of the update. Um... I, I, again, I haven't used it on the phone, so I'm not sure how much it's changed, but uh, I only use Twitch on... Uh, pretty much I, I, I watch streams on my PC. Um, everywhere else I don't touch. The wall must have absorbed the arcade into itself. But that's, uh, that's really fair. They've actually changed it, and... Uh, just sub on YouTube? Yeah, sure, I can do the same. Greatly appreciate it. When you open the app, it just hits you in the face. Oh, okay, so it's like uh, the front page on uh, Twitch then. Uh, so on the uh, front page of Twitch, you uh, it always starts a stream immediately with a uh, random streamer. That's on the front page. Oh, are we going to get to see you in a dance? Yeah, well, I'll be sure to subscribe back. No, um, no, no. Upstream, this thing could be a trap. Probably. So we want to select, you know you should dance. I, I believe that gives me a extra courage point. You dance. Uh, 
Let's do rock, paper, scissors. We need to think this through. Oh, oh, oh that's, yeah, that sounds really bad. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. If that's what they've done. I can only imagine how annoying that would be for, for... Especially since uh, getting onto the Twitch front page is like a, uh, it's not like a random person necessarily, it's actually like set, you know, they, they do it for certain people. If that makes sense. Rock, paper, scissors then. Uh, social aspect of the game? Um, so we haven't done too much. Uh, uh, all of the game outside of uh, the main protagonist, uh, ourselves, uh, is voiced. All of the characters so far have been voiced, and th there's also uh, animated cutscenes as well. So you get the gameplay here, all of this is voiced. Um, all of the social link stuff is all voiced. Um, and you also get uh, anime cutscenes as well. Um, so, it's a... Uh, All voiced, uh, except for this little section. Chani, you know, and you play rock paper scissors. You know, loses. Hmm. Your wiki says that you're terrible at rock paper scissors. But if someone asked me, would I recommend this so far? From what I've played, I would say yes. One, because it's an independent game, you should support indie developers. And two, because of if if, if you do like Persona games. Um, the, the, the fighting is obviously hack and slash, um, with a lot of, like, uh, element attacks and support abilities, and, uh, you also get the social aspect of hanging out with them and doing all sorts of stuff. Okay, so what have we got? Um, so... It looks like we're gonna do some DDR at the moment. Um, so four light- four lights yellow is listen. Wait. Four lights green is ready to play, and then whenever it's our turn, we have to push the button to dance. Let me get the. Let me just make sure I get the uh, controls correct before we begin the uh, dance dance revolution. Uh, what are we gonna do? Dance game is. Uh, showing you first on which of the four beats you have to press, and this is up to the rhythm. Okay, so I think I have it, kind of. I'm not great with dancing mini games, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. I think I'm supposed to just basically push the button when uh, it's my turn to do something. All right, who wants to see some dance dance revolution? Let's uh, let's do that. Uh, but yeah, I would say, uh, if I had to break this down to s in, in a way, it would be uh, Independent Persona with Scarlet Nexus graphics and also you get your animated cutscenes and then uh, basically a uh, hack and slash with a... Uh, uh, also, you get a... You get a, uh, uh, you, you get a beam katana that can transform into a chainsaw, a hammer, um, a giant sword, an even bigger sword. Um, and then you have like your normal, uh, you have your four element types, enemies are weak to certain elements, uh, each character also has a unique type of move that they can use, and, uh, you can obviously, uh, I've not played Code Vein, so it's a little hard to think, but, um, I, I say Scarlet Nexus, just because that's, uh, that's how I, uh, it's probably the closest thing I could, I could think of, but Code Vein is similar to, uh, I think Astral Blade and, uh, Scarlet Nexus. So they're probably around the same same sorts of games. So if you were a fan of any of those, as well as Persona stuff, like I would definitely say this is a game for for you. Uh, and also, it's a again independent developer. Like uh, if if we want more games like this, we should uh, support them as best as possible. All right, time for DDR. So wait, play. Uh. Oh, I should have just gone tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, oh, I see what we're gonna do. Okay. 
Listen is uh, yellow, plays the, and then we push when it goes onto the thing. There we go. Use the lights at the top as a guide. Are you sure? Write a post about it. Um, I think I saw this at. Uh, I think it was. Was it Tokyo Game Show or Gamescom? I think that's where I first saw it. Am I doing something wrong? What am I. What am I getting wrong here? One, two, three. Am I supposed to do it in the middle one? I'm. Okay. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. You've got to watch the uh, performance, so listen. Okay, there we go. Your dance moves are amazing, Yuna! Not a very good dancer, but it is what it is. Come closer next time so that my kicks can reach you, Chani. A touchy bot for this minigame when? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is the I don't even know if the game's on PC. I believe it's, uh... I think it's exclusive to PS4, actually. Is it? Is it all right? Is it? You know, well, I should probably, like, advertise this game, because I am enjoying this a lot, and it's thing, but... I've only just started it myself. Like, I might even consider, like... This This seems like a short enough game to where it's probably a really good speedrun. Yeah, this is, a. Uh, it's only on Windows, uh, PC, and, uh... Uh, PlayStation, but, uh... Sold 150,000 units as of, like, April of this year, so that's still pretty... D for an independent developer in their very first game... I think it was their first game, um... That's... that's pretty good, 150,000 units. Like, I... Uh, yeah, it's on, uh, it's on Windows as well. You can get it on, uh... Uh, so it was digitally released on... PlayStation and Windows, and then they released a physical version for, uh, console. So I've got- I bought the, uh, physical version. Um, of this, so this game is available on phys- uh, this, this game is available physically as well. PC and, uh, both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Yeah, I just had- I had a quick look. So, you, you can get a digital copy of it on PC, but, uh, if you want a physical copy of it, it's only on PlayStation 4 and 5. Um, this is obviously the PS4 version. So, um... But again, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know... Uh, do I only collect physicals? I have a choice. If I have a choice between a physical and a digital copy, I'll always go physical. Uh, just because I want to have the game in my hands and be able to play it uh, whenever I want to. Uh, Honestly, healing is seriously the best power a, to have. There's a lot of reasons why. I think uh, physical yes. media is dying. I, I have to be careful not to. But I think that's much. also allowing for a lot of. It's allowing for Remember, a lot of scummy. We can go um, recover on the train, okay? Business practices to come out about. So I think whenever whenever people can, supporting physical media is definitely going to be a good way to go. I know that it's not uh, beneficial for everyone, but uh, you know what? Uh, I I think it's going to be one of those things where you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Once everything becomes digital, uh, I think it's it's going to change a lot of. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, some for the better, some for the worse, so... Um, but to each their own, like, I... Plus, I guess with physical copy releases, uh, the... Yeah, I, I understand. I completely understand. Um, everyone is different in that regard. 
It's, it's just like, it, it's so, um, there's just so much things that are happening, and it's, uh... I, I can't imagine our world without physical media. Like, there has to always be something. It's, you, you're seeing it now, like, um... Look at what happened with... Look at what happened, for example, with Microsoft a few weeks ago, with the big hack thing. Like, imagine if that happens to a bank, or that happens to a, a thing, like, a bunch of accounts are gonna get hacked, people are gonna lose things and then you know it's all digital you've lost everything and you have to restart again it's a, it's a, it's a I don't have a problem with digital content I just think that there should always be a option for the for someone to buy something physical also they get uh, that's another thing as well if you buy the physical copy of the game uh, if you buy the physical copy for the game, uh, the developers are going to get more of that money versus if it's on a store, they're going to get not as much. I feel like they're going to take more, uh, take more from them. There's lots of good online alternatives, definitely. Um, GOG is very good, but that's also because, uh, they support a lot of the, uh, old PC games that just don't work anymore. And as a big PC yeah, gamer from the 90s, um... Uh, I appreciate that they have continued oh, doing that. It smells really bad too. Maybe those towers can bring the fog down. Plus, they uh, also work with a lot of the people who made the game. So, yeah, uh, worth a shot. Uh, Tim Schafer, who's a big PC, uh, you know, uh, Tim Schafer, who made a lot of the uh, uh, Grim Fandango and those types of games. Um, he uh, helps out a lot with. Uh, some of those in finding the programs that are, you know, preserving those those copies of those games and making sure that the uh, that they all work and stuff. Because there are a lot of games that just don't work on our modern PCs anymore because you needed to have certain uh, programs and they don't exist. Um, so it's it's nice for that preservation. Like, I would never outright ban digital content or, or thing. I just think that having options for both. It's cheaper for some places as well to have digital content than it is to have physical. You get, uh, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages for each thing. I just think having an option. Once you start having no options and you're only allowed to do things one way, uh, I think that just, uh... I mean, you saw it as well. Um, was it Ubisoft? Ubisoft said in an interview, someone from Ubisoft said, uh, people need to get used to not bugs. owning their games. And at that point, if you don't own the game, then they could do anything that they wanted to it, and, uh, you never, um, you're never gonna have the proper copy. And then what's stopping them from just, uh, deciding one day... Yes! What's stopping them from one day just changing something to, to their benefit? Uh, I know Ubisoft's a bad example. It's out. Yes! Electric balls? I guarantee I also guarantee Nothing you, I guarantee us. you, right? If if we get to a point in time where digital is the only option. Um, piracy, if, if they think piracy is bad now, piracy is going to be through the roof if it's only all digital, because once someone finds out a way to break, uh, uh break the digital code and stuff that they would put on, on stuff, no one's going to be buying games. They're just going to be pirating them, because, um, you know, you, you just, there's, there's not a lot of options. But that, that, that's why I said it makes sense. Certain I, Again, I live in a country where physical media and digital media is more easily accessible, but I also have to look at it from the perspective from other uh, people in other countries that it benefits them. And it's like, do I want them to miss out on games? No, I don't want them to miss out on any games, as well, uh, games but... Uh, I think that it, there's just a lot of things going on that need to be... Uh, Addressed, I guess, before um, things get completely. Yes! 
look at your, um, uh, you know, look at your, uh, uh, you know, physical stores as well, like, um, 20 years ago, um, you know, your blockbusters, your video easies, your, your stores that, like, rent DVDs and stuff. You're seeing this hacker? We're coming for you. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, the de novo is, uh... De novo. how many times do you see de novo getting removed from different, uh... <laughs> ...games because it makes them worse? I completely understand security. I, I understand right. wanting to prevent... Yeah, because, again, I want to buy my games. Let's go destroy more of these things. I want to buy my games as well. Um, but... Uh, they're making things harder and harder for, you know... Wanting to do all that sort of stuff. It is very greedy. Um, like, you, what is it? The what's the saying? Uh, give them a uh, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. That's that's what I'm trying to get at here. The more that uh, the more that the more people accept certain business practices, the more someone will try and like uh, exploit that. Like, I can give an example, uh, I can already explain how game prices have changed since, uh, things. So, uh, 2004? 2003. Um, uh, a PS2 game, a brand new PS2 game would cost me $110 to buy a, a, a brand new PS2 game. Um, uh, but... Most PS4 games that I've bought since uh, thing have been around the, the 70 to 80 mark, so some things have changed as time has gone on. Um, I have not seen the petition, but I definitely do agree because uh, uh, look at that. What happened uh, before? There was the what was it called? Um, the E, uh, not EU, the the. Um, they need to change something with that because um, of those game, uh, certain games making uh, not being even playable. Um, what was the game that wasn't playable? It was uh, uh, no Hell uh, Helldivers. Was it Helldivers Two? Helldivers Two, I think it was. Um, you had to have a PlayStation account to be able to play Helldivers Two, and. Uh, there was like close to 200 countries that were unable to even play this game because you did they didn't have access to uh, uh, PlayStation Network. So you're completely just cut off the majority of Europe, uh, you know, a majority of other places as well. Like there was it was close to 200. It was massive, and and you know that happened. Like imagine that happening everywhere buying a game and then it's essentially uh, a, a paperweight you can't even use it okay where are we gonna go also I don't have any other options to select here until after we've beaten the uh, thing anyway so that's why I'm continuing on like this um we got three, two stations again. Another game made an epic account mandatory. Uh, yes? Question mark. I don't use Epic Game Store, so I wouldn't know. Um, I yes. know that. So satisfying. Yeah, there's a lot of weird practices. Um, yes. I love 
love this, uh, being able to, like, move faster. Because of through the, uh, thing. Yes! Alright. Now, no wedding turn in this game. Um, we just trigger the, uh... We just trigger what we want to do when we get to it. stuff that's happened with media and stuff in the, in time but uh uh I, one thing you could one thing you can definitely look up is uh like some of the uh some of the stuff that companies have tried to have uh patents made for um was it i, I can't remember if it was ea or ubisoft someone wanted to have a patent be like uh oh, that was what it was uh uh the guy who runs unity <laughs> Um, he wanted to uh, have a practice where uh, every time someone would reload a gun in, uh, let's say, Call of Duty, for example, anytime someone would reload a gun in Call of Duty, uh, you would have to pay money to reload a gun. And could you imagine how many people that would affect by having to pay for a for ammo yes. like in a video game. Real money. figure out a way to like make as much money as possible with some of the worst ideas like charging people to reload their gun in a in a multiplayer game um it's just it, he shouldn't be getting a job it's it, it happens in so many other industries like that's the thing it happened in happens in other things like sport you know i'm not a big soccer fan but you know here if you've uh, heard about what's happening with the reading uh Football club, that's terrible as well. Like, uh, they're in debt. They're in debt and needing money to help support the club, and uh, they went and hired a uh, guy who had money, and what did he do with it? He decided to uh, pocket the money for himself instead of uh, helping support, out the, support the club. That club is potentially going to die. It's, it's yes. potentially going to die. They're gonna see they uh, had a training ground that they sold for uh, a training ground they had uh, sold for 
way less than what it was actually worth. And he profited all the, uh, he took all the profits. I don't think they can, they're not, um, they can try it. It's not the, it's, it, it's the point that, like... Whoa, let them stop us. They, they can probably try it. There's been a lot of outrage about it because obviously this person's come along and just taken the money for themselves, but you've, you've got to also understand that FIFA themselves, FIFA themselves are corrupt. Like, it, it, there's so much corruption in, in soccer and football over in, uh, I think there's we FIFA. We can reach this level now. What are you supposed to do when, like, whoever you are, infected hacker, the head of the organization are rotten to the core? Yeah, I'm not that familiar with football, but I just, uh, I, I know about that going on. It's like, it's, it's just terrible that they're going to allow, uh, I think it's the, uh... Someone was talking about it. They said it was the fourth or fifth old... It's one of the oldest football clubs in, uh, in the world. They can date back that far. And it's, it, what's gonna happen? It's just going to, uh... Gonna go away. Because of uh, corporate greed, and uh, you know, it, it, it's sad. Like that, that's that's just how easy, that's how easy uh, something can be taken away with no, uh, you know, for the sake of profit. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? They'll buy it for the history, but at the same time, like that club could have lived on for even longer, but. You know, like, what's the point in buying history instead of making it yourselves? Like, there's only so much that, like, a, a fan can do, but... You know, because they, they don't listen to the, uh... They listen to the dollars and the cents. That's what, uh... In instead of everything else. Instead of the love and passion that people put towards the game, or... Anything in general, they will just listen to the dollars and the cents. That's what speaks the highest. Um... Even if it's, uh... Not what people would like. I have no idea. I don't live in the UK, so... But I, I, I can probably guarantee that it happens a lot in other places. More phones. Wait. This is my account. But I don't think they're necessarily like looking this? for... Trying to protect it. I think they're just looking at... And, I know so wait, wait, they, safe. They've actually Here got the coordinates. They've actually got Twitter. There's actually Twitter is is in this game. If what you bring what are we doing? Plushie with you, you'll get a special reward. They actually brought Twitter into They actually put made an actual Twitter account and put it into the No. No. Please. No. Oh my god, they actually put it in there. Or was it X? I wonder if it's X. Maybe it was still a uh, was it st still Twitter at the time? Alright, boss time. Uh, what are you weak to? We need to heal, uh, first of all. Just stand there. I, need, I need to heal. Please heal me. Yes! 
said, uh, another... I've got to be careful because I only have the one, uh... Yes! I've got to be very careful because I only have Feel the, the one... Feel the fire of our gun! Uh, 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 the, 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 I only have the one heal. Satisfying game. I'm I'm really really enjoying it. I'm not usually very good at hack and slash. And it took a little bit of getting used to at the start, but this is definitely my kind of. Uh, it's got a bit of everything. Yes. Very impressed with this. Okay, Arya, I type the stuff into the terminal. Alright, we have a couple of options here that I have One to select moment. for some boosts. Um, and then I think Is it's the wall okay. coming down? No, only the servers. Yeah, take that! Huh? Nothing happened. Where's Yuna? Yuna, this isn't your fault. Oh no. I might take a even turn when I get a chance to, like, pause the game just to... Save. Wait, because these seem to move by themselves, so I want to make sure that I don't miss any uh, dialogue. Actually, I don't know if I can pause here or not. Okay, I can pause. I'm gonna take a quick break and then we'll be back to continue with more of this. Uh, so, uh, let's just make sure this is working.
All right, we're back. Uh, just make sure this is. I didn't even mute the game. I didn't even have to. Uh, oh, oh, you're off. Uh, thank you for stopping by, Chubster. Um, it's always nice talking to you. As well as everybody else that's uh, stopped by so far. Thank you for the welcome back. Uh, well, uh, let's continue with this. Let's uh, keep going. Uh, sure. So we want to say. Uh, we should take her with us, and then everything else is just, uh, everything else that we have to do is just, um, whatever we want to pick. See, Yuna! Not Ooh. everybody died! Yeah, long enough. Save! So, until we get to night time. It may have been a challenge, but you did it. You defeated the infected hacker. There are more monsters like him out there, aren't there? Let's focus on happy thoughts, Chani. Did you find a way through the wall or anything that might help us? Uh, we didn't find anything. Or actually... We found a monster that doesn't attack people. An important thing that you must understand is that most of the world is infected. Some can't be brought back, but most of them are like her. They held on to something inside them that stopped them from becoming complete monsters. But Havoc, have you, uh... Have you been enjoying, uh, I think you, you were playing Doom. Have you been, uh, I haven't played that in such a long time. Uh, the original, original Doom. Have, have you been enjoying that? That doesn't mean that she's safe. Be careful. I, my memories of that game, the original, uh, the original, like, first three? Three? Three games? A lot of those I remember because I was watching my, uh, my dad play them. I have to go. Oh, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Um, a lot of the memories I have of those are, um, uh, when I was little, and, uh, I would, uh, be on my, uh, uh, dad's lap, and he would be playing, uh, uh playing those games, and, I, and I'd be trying to push the buttons and click the mouse and stuff. Um, oh, wait. That was a way with- How the, long do we have before of, the stone um, is awakened? Early PC games for me. Allow me to worry about that. Focus on a way through. The Wolfenstein games are some of them are the more recent ones are pretty hard. Ah! Pretty wise. Yeah, I probably would have been around the same age because I was. Uh, yeah, I would have been. The original game came in, well, Wolfenstein, original Doom is 93. Uh, Wolfenstein, I don't remember when that came out. Yeah, see, my school, the, the, the game that everybody played when I was at school, uh, was, uh, uh, well, for high school, it was like, everyone was playing Halo, um, custom edition. Uh, that that Halo was really popular for in in the early uh, well the mid two thousands. That was what I was playing a lot of. Uh, primary school wise, that wasn't really they didn't really have a lot of stuff for me on um, on the computers for those. But there was a lot of learning. Uh, I I. I played a lot of the adventure games and the the kid adventure games like your uh, Putt Putts and uh, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, those types of games 
Which were like your kid uh, point and click adventure games, but for children. And then I grew into the other ones later on the line, like Monkey Island and stuff. Oh, they considered history. That's a... yeah. I, I think some games are like that as well. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, a few recent games that have come out. Uh, the Valiant Hearts games. I think those should be cons uh, and I also think the uh, Discovery tours for the newer Assassin's Creed should also be considered as uh, used for explaining history. I think that's all. It's, it's also. Uh, I think that's also something that should be like preserved and uh, used to help teach people. I'm not. Like, I don't think our school started doing anything with, uh, stuff with games until, like, grade four in primary school. And then at that point, it was, like, it was a lot of learning-based ones, because, uh, <laughs> I think I only one person out of my, uh, out of, like, my entire family have gone through a period of time where they went from their beginning school years to the end of their school years all using, um... Motherfucker! Uh, having computers, like, consistently being used. Uh... Did I play the Oregon Trail? I've heard of it. I have not played it, I don't think. I... Is that... That's a text-based game, isn't it? I was trying to make things game? right! Like, uh, was it Zork? I've heard, I feel like I've heard of the game. I thought I was helping remember. to get real information yeah. out yeah. there. Yeah, so I, I re the main ones I remember for that was Zork. Um, I, I never, I've played Zork before. Um. <sighs> Why do I even bother? Which again, it's a fun little game to play, considering it's one of the earlier, probably one of the earlier adaptions to like a, a choose your own adventure type of game. Let's just turn over and on the same thing. Um... Okay, expressions alone. nothing? Because that's clearly better. Yeah, I feel like I've heard of the Oregon Trail before, I just haven't, uh... I've not actually played with that one. I... Don't want to hurt they, they, the, the text based games were fun for what they were. Like, you could, uh, if, if you sat down for an afternoon and just, like, played them, you'd probably have a pretty good time with Zork and stuff. If only I'd. Please, just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think the main reason I know about a lot of these is because I have, uh, we have a whole bunch of CDs, like, from the, uh, 90s, and, uh, you know, PC games and stuff, so I probably have a lot of, like, what was popular during that period of time, but you can't really play them at, at, at now. She has a name tag, her name's, uh, Yunji. Uh... Actually, try and talk to him. Pizza. And we don't have that, or you are human. Uh, you think Steam? Yeah, Steam probably does have it. Um, again, like going back to the whole preservation of games and stuff. Um, it's uh, it, it, it will be around somewhere. But uh, I, I still have a lot of the. Uh, Old, uh, I, I still have a lot of the discs from a lot of the 90s games that we've collected over the years. Um, from back that, in that point. Makeup? Should I wear some? You eat makeup or why do you want that? That's why 
why I think GOG is such, uh, just a good site, though, because of uh, all the preservation work that they've done to try and keep these games alive and accessible for everybody. Maybe you have some in your bag, or I know what to do. Um, also, like, every now and then, like, limited run will kind of with something that uh, has a thing, because, again, PC games don't use discs anymore. Uh... Oh, nice. Uh, I never had an NES, a Super NES, uh, or an NES in general, but uh, yeah, my first Nintendo console outside of a handheld uh, it was the GameCube. Uh, I still have... I've still got... All my PS3 games. I've still got... All the PS2 games. Uh, I've still got... Uh, a few PS1 games in there. Uh, we traded in a lot of the PS1 games. Because, uh... You could... Oh, sorry. You could, uh, use them in the, on the PS2, so, um, then you realize that there may be a clue in a bag. Look through Angie's bag and find a Yuna plushie. Yuna! Yeah, you have age on me, but at, at the same time, it's like, I, I, I do know, I do at least know of this Super NES, I just never had one, um, you could, they, they did release the, uh, SNES, uh, they did release the mini versions, which gave you, like, 20 games. But those, uh, some of those games would be worth some, uh, would be, uh, probably pretty valuable at this point. Yuna! You know a little fan that wants to talk to you or you know open the door? Uh... Oh, the, oh, the Atari. Are you talking about the, uh, which Atari are you talking about? The, uh, 2600? Or was that a little bit too early? Because, uh... My parents would always tell me about they would play the, uh... They played the, uh, Commodore 64. Obviously, that was a little bit before my time as well. Um... The, the Commodore 64 was, uh, like the popular console for them. Um, and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it, was, it might have been the 20, it, Atari, I think the last thing that Atari did release console-wise was the 2600, because that was the, uh, that was the, uh, well, the last console was the 2600, because that was the, the end of games, essentially. The, a lot of the lawsuits and the, uh, the E.T., the extraterrestrial game, you know, the one that they found uh, in the landfill in Mexico. So... You're a fan, Yuji? So there's a lot of those, uh, lying around. I'm sorry. You were in a lot of danger because of me. Yeah, that was the thing. It was a great story. No one believed it, and then they decided to actually check, and sure enough, they found them. Um, but it, again, that's an important part of gaming. It's an important part of gaming history. I would argue that E.T. the Extraterrestrial is the most important game of all time. Um, for, uh, you know, it, it has to be. Like, if you're, if you're going to consider Pong as the first game, I think you need to consider E.T. as the game that nearly, that nearly ended the, uh, the actual industry, or, or it actually did until the, uh... Me? Uh, yeah, it's not about the, uh, it's not about it being broken, it's about it being important. It's, uh, it, without it, we don't have the, um, the rise again. Again, Super Mario Brothers being the, uh, key reason as to why games became more uh, popular again. So if people can claim that Pong is the best game of all time because of its, uh, being the first, I think you can also claim that E.T. is the best game for, uh, most important for being, uh, uh, that's nice. It's just one of those important things to, to say, like, uh, you know, and you've got to remember, Nintendo had been around for over a hundred years. They were doing a lot of cards. 
there our main business was our cards. Trading cards and stuff. But she'll be uh, out the of me. You know, tries to take away you and just plush you. No! You not. How are you still a fan? People died because of me! Yuna! Yeah, it's, it's one of these weird things though where there's you a... You almost died because of me! People like to associate most important games of all time being the ones that are good and it's like, oftentimes you have to point to the ones that are bad that are also the reason as to why... Like that, that's, the Atari stuff with the 2600, it doesn't even, it, it goes further than the E.T. thing. Like, E.T. was a bad game, but there was other problems that happened during that time too. Like the, uh, uh, all the copyright, um, them making like versions of Pac-Man and Tetris and not calling them that and, and trying to say that it was a different game. Like, massive lawsuits and stuff, it was, it was effectively the end. No, no confidence you in the uh, industry at the time. I just... Going to stop trying. And now look at where Atari are. What are the, what are the, what's Atari doing now? That'd be better for everyone. <laughs> what? Please stop crying. <laughs> Another thing as well is like, um, for as good as a game can get, eventually through time, uh, other stuff's gonna come around and be better than it's just naturally. I would say it takes a lot more effort to make something genuinely bad, like bad to a point of detriment. Yeah. Like, you see it now, where gaming is not going to die, despite the fact that there are so many games that are broken now. Gaming is not going to die, um, because of a few bad games coming out. We're nowhere close to that anymore. Yeah, it's me. Which is probably why it's become more acceptable for people to release games that are broken from the start. Because they have other re ways to fix it, but... <laughs> you know. uh, I, I always associate it with uh, movies as well. Uh, the movie Plan 9 from Outer Space, people always call as one of the worst movies ever made, but you, when you go and read about what happened when they made the film and how much money they had and all that other stuff, it's really not as bad as what it could have been. It's more of a for the time thing it makes sense for it being bad. But now, you know, which is it's, it's much worse to give millions of dollars to an, a company and then completely mess up a, uh, a a popular franchise and then not even make their money back. It's, it's huh? what is so it? that there's there's certain things that are going to be considered uh, worse versus uh, like someone who who made a project and it was it, it just didn't work out the way that they wanted. And she picks up a makeup brush on the floor. Oh, you want to put makeup on me? Uh, I don't really like other people doing my. Uh... Yeah, nah. I mean, if it'll make you happy.
It's gonna look terrible, isn't it? Oh, she turned her into a clown. What's so funny? Tell me. I'd love to hear it. Why did I expect that to happen? Guys, remember the picture I took? I think it could. What's going on? Wait, everyone's got the clown makeup on now? Uh, why do you all look like clowns? <laughs> the world's a circus, we've been through a lot, it's a new trend, I mean... Is this what the- is this what's gonna happen with the, uh, uh, the world is gonna end and we all have to start painting our faces to look like clowns, um, the world's a circus, we've been through a lot, it's a new trend, uh, the world is a circus, why not, we'll go with that. Yeah, the world is a circus and we're all clowns! I see, <laughs> cool. I'm sorry, but why did you call me? I took a picture of this really weird thing. Inside the wall. Inside the wall! Yeah. But that's the thing, it's like, cost-wise, um... I, I, again, a good example for this is, uh... Uh... El Mariachi, uh, Robert, uh, Rodriguez's, one of his first, uh, his first film, cost $10,000 to make. 7000 or 8000 of that was his own money, and it was a big success. He was able to take, uh, stuff that you would, uh, and, and even the Blair Witch Project. Look at the Blair Witch Project, that was basically the same thing as well, like, um, done in a way to, um, yeah, but it was trash, but it made money is what I was trying to say, like, it was a bad movie, but it made money, um, because of the whole, uh, you know, the, the, the thing, like, um, I, I, again, I, I don't like the Sharknado movies, I can't deny that they make money, or at least uh, people like them, but I never like them, and I always use them as an example of this is what happens when you give people too much money, and tell them to make a movie, and then they make the movie, and that's what you get. It's like, I... Send it to me. Um, I, 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 you know, that's where it's like, I, it's like, if you, if people like the Shark Manor movies, that's fine, but you can't then criticize a movie that has way less of a budget and say that it's bad if, uh, you've made something like Sharknado. Um, where it essentially just became cameos from popular celebrities, which at that point doesn't matter. It's like, There's it's, a it's, huge it's, amount it's, of energy it's, concentrated It's no different area. than movie 43, which was a terrible movie as well. Apologies, I should have noticed this earlier. You have good instincts, Chani. But yeah, the Halloween example is a good example, man. Right? Yeah, well, that's the thing, it's like the budget, um, the way people use the budget is different as well, because it, is the budget for making the film, or is the budget for paying the, uh, the star power as well, you've got to consider. Let's go check it out, Ben. Like, Avengers Endgame costs 400 and was it 400 million, 450 million to make? But look at how many people are in that movie. Yeah, Halloween, nobody, but... No, uh... Was, a uh, uh, Vincent Price was in that movie, wasn't he? Vincent Price is a pretty well-known actor, even before, uh, the Halloween movies. I think he was in the original. Was it Vincent Price that was in it? I think it was him. Because Jamie Lee Curtis was an unknown, but that uh, that also catapulted her career uh, as well. 
Similar to uh, Patricia Arquette, the same thing happened. Johnny Depp, they all starred in uh, horror movies that eventually got them big roles later on. Nothing can just be easy, can it? Who was it? Who was it? I need to look this up. In the original Halloween, I'm pretty certain it was... Who, was, who played Loomis? The guy who played Loomis was famous, I'm fairly certain by that point in time. The original movie. Because John Carpenter was already, like... I, I don't remember if that was John Carpenter's first film, but obviously John Carpenter is a... Yeah, Donald Pleasance, he's... Donald Pleasance was pretty, uh... Uh, was already, I think, a well known actor at the time. That's who it was. I was trying to remember the guy's name. But then you look at what John Carpenter has tied his... If you look at what John Carpenter himself has tied his name to... Um, since then, after the original movie, it's like he's uh, done so much. He's done so much. Ah, they must have collapsed when you destroyed the main computer. For some reason I was thinking uh, Vincent Price, but that's the, the thriller movie. The thriller... The thriller music video was uh, Vincent Price. He did the, the, the voiceover. That was what I was thinking about for some reason. I'm about to collapse. I'm sending an excavator to make a path. That was what I was saying. Like, if John Carpenter ties his name into something, then that will surely, like, um, look at Saw. Saw is the same thing. The uh, the first Saw movie. That was, uh, I believe, James Wan's debut. And as much as you can say about the sequels, similar to Halloween, uh, the first uh, movie is usually the one that people say is the best. I'll inform you when it's ready. I'd say I've heard of that one. Um, we'll be ready. It's a, it, usually he has his name tied to some uh, really good uh, movies, though. Well, I don't think every movie needs to necessarily be serious. I think that's another problem. Uh, too many movies nowadays are trying to get a ba os a be Oscar bait and be serious, but you can make a bad movie still. And like, I'm not saying that Oppenheimer is a bad movie. I did enjoy watching it, but... Uh, so yes, the train can provide for all your nutritional needs. Yeah! It's great, thanks, Arya. Uh, I'm not saying that is a bad movie, I'm just saying that, uh... I think there were other movies that were better that were shorter. And also, uh, still, uh, did a similar sort of, uh, thing that they were aiming for. It felt like they were really trying to aim for movies that were going to be popular, uh, to win Oscars. Or Academy Awards, I should say. Try their food, that's terrible. Uh, this doesn't matter, right? Does it? None of these matter. Uh, this doesn't matter either. Uh, if you go looking for an item. One place, be the wrong place to make sure you fail the hunt. So, okay, we'll that later. Uh, but nutrition needs, and you have low standards, any ideas? Uh, okay, huh? it takes place on Mars. Minor unleashes a demon like creator. Oh, that sounds interesting. That sounds like an interesting idea. Um, I guess. Based on when it came out, is probably gonna determine the corniness of it, but it sounds like an interesting idea. Here's what we need to do. Yeah. Loot stuff. <clears throat> Scavenge. Yeah, that sounds like it, it, it. That sounds almost like the thing, except on Mars. It's, it's basically the thing. Oh, ice cube. Okay, so it's it's like a. Yeah, that, that, okay, that's a, yeah, it's basically just a, 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 ver a, a, a cornier version of the thing. <laughs> Should scavenge the ramen stand I saw outside. Yeah, it sounds like a corny version of that. After scavenging four bowls of ramen, Chani decides to scavenge an apple. Don't, 
Oh, I just need food. Yeah. Uh, none of this matters. Yeah, no. This one says it's obligatory that we have to do the scavenger hunt, so we'll do that anyway. And I'll ask for an item and we have to say where we can find it, and then we can only find it in one place, they never change. Your favorite horror movie? I mean, I, I understand. The, the Evil Dead franchise is really popular. Definitely very popular. Uh, I don't think I have a favorite. I'm not a big horror movie fan, but um, that is obviously uh, got a lot of great like character moments in it. Bruce Cam I I've always enjoyed uh, Bruce Campbell. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to go to the convenience store. They're located behind the counter as soon as we begin. And then we do the scavenger hunt for that as well. Uh, so, behind the counter to the right, uh, and we'll find them. And then all the stuff's fine. Okay. Yeah, Bruce Campbell is a genuinely funny guy as well. He appears in a lot of, uh, in a lot of movies. Uh, in video games, clearly. Huh? No. Oh. Dirty video games, or what then? No, uh, what then? There's like a running sort of thing that happens, so Sam Raimi, the guy who directed, uh... Sam Raimi, the guy who directed the Evil Dead movies, uh, his brother... Uh, always appears in his films, and uh, I think the first time I saw Bruce Campbell when I uh, think it was in the uh, Spider-Man movies. He makes a cameo in all the uh, all, all three original Spider-Mans as a different character each time. All that. Ah. <laughs> need some female products. Uh, you don't need makeup or teddy bears, uh... <laughs> what? Frustrated sounds. I need pads, okay. Uh, I'll go get them then. <laughs> that should be fine, like, we can go and get them. <laughs> no! Just take me to a place and I'll find them. <sighs> Where should we go? Library, warehouse, or convenience store. We want to go to the convenience store. Yeah, I um, I mostly re I I know him for the Evil Dead movies, the Spider-Man movies, and also the uh, um, uh, the TV series Burn Notice, where he plays one of the main characters. That's where I remember him uh him from, Bruce Campbell. There's a lot of infected out there. You can't stay long. Oh, it's a time timer based. Uh, we're gonna go behind the counter. Good pads. So okay, th those are timed. Yes. Uh. 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 What's the name? I. Uh, I. Uh, no. Her mother. No. Her father was Tony Curtis. <sighs> I, I don't, I'm not familiar with who, I'm not sure who her mother is, I, I don't remember if I... I know that her father was Tony Curtis, who was famous, but I don't remember who her mother was. Off the top of my head. Unless I'm just forgetting. None of these options matter. Uh, yes, I've heard of Psycho. I know the, uh, of course. Thanks. Oh, that's... Yeah, I, that must be where I've heard it from. Okay, that's where I've heard it from, then. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. 
I just couldn't remember her name off the top of my head. Uh, I, I do remember that... I, I know who you're talking about, but... I just remember Tony Curtis being the uh, her father. He was also fairly famous as well. You can increase certain combat stats by going to the city and scavenging. Depending on what character you choose, different stats will be increased. You can go scavenging with the character by talking to them at night. So explore the city for the first time. Yeah, I couldn't remember what, uh, what her mother's name was, but I, I know, obviously, who she played based on that, if that's the case. Alright, so I get that out of the way. Um, so the next ones are dependent on which character we pick, and are an optional if we spend time with them. Uh, so we're not going to do them straight away, we're going to do them whenever we see... Uh, we do have a couple of options here we have to select. How many people did I kill today? No, there weren't people anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah, just mindless monsters. Right? I mean, there's still people, they're still infected, but it's, it's still people. <laughs> Does it really Thank you very much matter? for the raid again. And let me give you a shout out again. Why not? Here we go. Hopefully Siege went well. Just to me, I guess not. Uh, this doesn't matter, right? No, it does matter. We have to select the two bottom options. And then we... That's it. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Hope that the, uh, did the games for Siege go well, uh, today? Hopefully better than the Overwatch ones did. Uh, just to me. Don't be a hypocrite. It doesn't matter what you believe in. What matters is not failing. Uh, what if I do then you'd be a failure. Can you handle that? Failures aren't very popular. And you probably will fail. Yeah, it's almost 4 a.m. Well, at least uh, for you it is. For me, it's almost uh, 6 p.m. Have people stare at you? Judge you? Uh, is it really just the dot 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 that we have to select this? It is. Interesting. For some reason I'm imagining you being the protagonist from, uh, our Pokemon. Whenever you set the time at the start of the game and it's like, Oh no, I've overslept, or I haven't, you know, the, the thing, or whatever you're, the... you, you always, uh, you're, you're definitely a night owl, that's for sure. Alright, rank 2, element light 2 acquired. It's our rank up. You have been here for a while. Granted, I've only I've been streaming for like three hours, but um, and you've been here for most of it, I think, if not all of it. Okay, unlock skills. Remember, you can unlock skills like Death Blow or Great Sword. Press Start to access the skill tree to the main menu. We'll do that now. See if there's anything new. Uh... Oh, it's 2am for you at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, for my, uh... Well, usually when I stream, it's usually, like, bedtime for... Uh, a lot of the American viewers, but then there's, like, six different time zones in the US, so... Some, some people stick around longer, some people stick around later, so... It's all the, uh, it's all the same to me. Uh, allow you to withstand one extra hit before dying. 
Powerful spell, instant resource, HP. That would probably be better used. Or... Yeah, then, you, then, then you've got people who don't sleep whatsoever. I appreciate each and every... I, I appreciate everybody. All sleep, no sleep. Partial sleep. I appreciate all, all of my viewers. Regardless of their sleep schedule. Uh, I think it's better to probably go with the healing spell first. Although I probably could get all of them. Uh, then probably health. Yeah, Mike can get all of them. Okay, so the this the uh, little markers here with next to the characters are, are the scavenger hunt. So I guess we can find a bunch of items to scavenge for for a lot of people. Uh, we're not going to be doing that a lot. We need to do it at least ten times, but I'm not going to do all of them because. I, I probably won't have enough time to do it. Um, that upload updates the... Okay, so that updates our... Uh, HP. Uh, let's... Uh, I guess now we're on the point of... Uh, currently on the 5th. So, we have to wait five days or four days for the story to progress. So, during that time, we can spend time with our party members. So, we'll start with, uh... We'll start with Yuna. Because we do have a trophy to boost up for, uh, their relationships. So, we will do that. Uh, any of the icons that have hearts on them, I will be going for them. Uh, so we get extra... So, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna spend time with her, not train. Hey. That's like a mini game Do you to get have some, some stuff. Time? So first option, third option, first option, second option. For unit. Uh, how about now? This will give us uh, uh -huh. a better on. ability, better abilities for her, and also better abilities for like uh, will probably increase a lot of other things too. You and Yuna talk about nothing specific for 30 minutes. So yeah, that's the kind of toothpaste I use. A random conversation to have. So I said first option, third option. One, three, one, two. I gotta remember, so... This should be a heart. <laughs> I know, right? There we go. I think it's cool to think about how... We were strangers just a couple of days ago. Now, we're a team. We're still strange you talk about toothpaste. We talk about toothpaste and we can do this. I'm happy with how this stream's gone. Not only for the... Not only because of the viewership being up, but also because I took several days off of not streaming and now I've got to get back into it again. Uh, and... Exactly. It's nice to... Um, have, uh... A lot of people come in and chatting as well. Tentacle boy. Gotta get back into the switch. That was not an invitation. Uh, but it, it's a good sign for my average that me taking the three days or well, two or three days off not streaming has uh, did not. Uh, decrease my average, so um, I'm not under the need to be constantly streaming all the time, I just need to be more consistent um, <laughs> in terms of the... Here's something else, you know that? In terms of being around, I guess. Uh, can I do a favor if he's live? Uh, yeah, I can, uh, if he's still live when I'm done, I can wait, uh, I can do that for you. I've been thinking about Jisoo. Even after everything that happened to her, 
She didn't quit. She tried to make a comeback. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I, I, I understood what you meant. Once I, uh, if he's still online when I'm uh, going off, then I will, uh, I'll, I'll make sure to raid, uh, raid him. But people don't forget. It's all good, uh, all good with me. I think as I built up the, uh, as I built up my uh, viewership and stuff, I, I, I will be, uh, well, the last couple of streams I've been, uh, doing raid requests and stuff, so I think that's a good way to expand, uh, the channel. And also, uh, help other people out as well. And all people did was give them a bit of a boost. And again, all I did was watch. When the walls came, for some strange reason, I called Jisoo. She lived in the area, so I was hoping we could meet at the shelter. Because she wasn't there. Even if she was... What would I even say to her? Have you and Chani always been great friends? Uh, this was supposed to be the second option. Yeah. Uh, according to this, we've always been friends. I think so. Yeah. Just by the sounds of it, that is true. That's it! You guys went to school together! Tell me about that! So this should be a rank up for you, you know? Spend the next couple of hours sharing Nathan and Charlie adventures. The ones that don't bring you shame. Yeah, the ones that don't include the, uh, robbing of, uh, the stealing of dirty magazines from, uh, Charlie's, like, grandfather. Rank 2, so AoE Heal level 2, and Elemental Fire 2, Boy, yeah. So we have Boosted Fire now, as well as, um, uh, not think so. It's night time, we're gonna do a Scavenger Hunt the second time. Uh, and then we want to select the first option for that. Uh, there we go, so we have another upgrade for this. Um... So this increases the damage of Stinger by 1.5 times, so we'll grab that. Uh, anything else? I mean, so we're at uh, Acceptance level 1 and Expression level 1, so we still need Confidence up a little bit. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, scavenge Hunt tonight, so I have to talk to... Yuna... Again? You let me go on the scavenger hunt? Yep. Hey. What are you doing to keep yourself clean? Uh, waiting for rain or using the shower? Uh, I don't even know if this... I, I'm assuming the train would have to have a shower on it because, uh, I mean, there's a bar here. If there's a bar in a... If there's a bar in the train, that would... You know, think so. I'm assuming that there's a shower. Um, maybe not, but we'll just have to see. Uh, and I, I don't think we're going to be waiting for rain because, uh... Uh, everything's happening underground, so, uh... I'm, I'm going to uh, assume that, uh, there is a shower on the train somewhere. Stop lying, this train doesn't have a shower. Never mind, we don't have- okay, I guess we're not- we're not doing that then. Uh, we actually do or it doesn't have towels. I- I have no idea. Let's go find some towels. Uh, none of this matters in terms of the decisions, because it's, uh, only after we've already started going for the scavenger hunt, so... Uh, we're gonna go to the warehouse, and the second aisle in the middle, from where you start at the back, is where you find the towels. And then we select the first option. Uh, we're gonna go to the warehouse. If we don't select the right area, we lose time. That's why not lose time, we fail the, uh, the area, so... I 
could find some towels here. Uh, from where we start, they said the second, so I think it's in here. And they said all the way to the back, so I guess it's this one. Wait. Oh, never mind. Uh, not that one. Uh, this one. Towels. Here we go. Yeah, I don't want to go looking through all of them because I didn't know if I got one wrong, if it would uh, force me to lose time or do something else, so we'll just uh, leave it. Got a bunch of towels. Warm showers, here we come. Well, you don't need a towel. Uh, we want to say the first option here. Because that'll give us a boost in her relationship. <laughs> it's going to be so nice. And then all the rest of the stuff we say is fine until the next day. Alright, so survival unit, towels, HP plus 4, white essence plus 4. Duh. Oh yeah, we were wondering. Yeah. How do we protect ourselves from the monster disease? You can't. You already have it. Uh, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. See you later. Bye, bye. <laughs> I just like how it says that this account was made in January 2016. Like. You're telling me, uh, uh, obviously they could fake the, the, they, they could fake the date that, like, really a bot that's eight years old? And then that's a, it, it says that they're currently banned in the channel, but does that mean I've already banned them before? Because if someone's banned from my stream, they shouldn't be able to post anything. Because I've had times where I've banned someone and it just tells me that I, the message has been deleted and then I've banned someone, but then it says that they're already currently banned, so I don't know if I... I don't know why it's appearing twice. It shouldn't be doing that. But don't worry, you also have Lux's power. She's protecting you from Umbra's infection. Wait, I don't have Lux's power? Does that mean I'm going to turn into a monster? Tony, you are protected by the power I gave you. Great. Don't be too relieved. The infection inside you is still growing. It's growing inside all of us. And unless we defeat Umbra, it will win. What a rollercoaster ride of a conversation. Am I dreaming? Uh, I would I assume so. Also, we still have our arm, so we must be dreaming because we don't have an arm any. We have our normal arm. No uh, laser, no laser arm. Or, or katana wielding, um, like laser katana or whatever. I, I don't know, I still don't know what to call it. Beam katana, uh, a. Uh, it can transform into a chainsaw, it can transform into a giant sword, it can transform into a uh, hammer. Oh, hello there. Uh, where am I or who are you? Uh, I think asking who are you is probably the better option here. Does that matter in a dream? Uh, it does if you're appearing in them and we haven't seen you before. Uh... Yeah, this is, uh, weird. Why are we dreaming about someone we don't even know? Yeah. Isn't that nice? He watches this slowly, pushes his hand through some lights. <sighs> okay, now we've got our, uh... I love dreams. Back. There's just, um, magic in them that the real world lacks. They're so calm. Uh, but I 
like excitement. I mean, I, I, I would say yes. Me too. But not all the time. Let me show you something interesting. You see this butterfly? One day, out of nowhere, it just appeared in my dreams. A nice little surprise. It's calming, isn't it? Uh, it is what I feel. I mean... It, uh, I, I like butterflies. But I also have to recognize that butterflies uh, in a video game typically end up being either enemies or a sign of... Uh, whenever I think of butterflies, I keep thinking of the uh, butterfly effect. And... Uh, I used to follow butterflies in the dark with my brother. How that can impact the, uh, landscape had this idea that one of them would lead to treasure. One time, that treasure was a near drowning. <laughs> ah, the innocence of youth. Wake up in your bed. Is my youth innocent? It wasn't. You go back to sleep. Okay, we ranked up this character and we haven't even met them yet. Uh, rank 1, SP buff level 1, SP 1. I guess we're gonna meet you later. Uh, you must have some sort of relevance later, if you're only appearing now. Uh, so today we're gonna hang out on Chani, no, hang out with Chani, uh, and all the options are fine, just no, we can pick any option. Uh, before that, uh, I was gonna say before that, we'll check out what that other guy had, but he just buffed our SP. So they're not even in order either, they're not uh, in order. Let's go with, um, I can increase AoE heal, or I can increase HP. I probably would go with the AoE heal, but then again, it does heal us quite fast, so I think more HP in general is probably better first. Yeah, we'll go with that first. Uh, Chani to Chani's next. Spend time. Yes. Dude, I've been practicing bartending. Since there hasn't been much else to do. I'd like to open a tab. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess we have to do that to get Yeah, Nah, your money's no good here. Martini plays all the usual, please. Uh, I don't even know what age we're supposed to be, so... Coming right up. Chinese serves you a can of sparkling water. This is an alcohol or you're a bartender. Um, also, it's in a jar as well. Uh, looks like, uh, as far as I know, uh, sparkling water is not alcohol. It's just fizzy water. Uh... I'm the best bartender in the world. <laughs> Assuming all the others are dead. The train has nothing but sparkling water. But there's more to bartending than certain cocktails. <clears throat> I'm also your therapist. <clears throat> Kinda. My thing is too big or the pressure is getting to me. Uh, what, what thing are we talking about? Uh, yeah. You know what, we'll just go with it, because the pressure isn't getting to us. Ah, problem I am very much familiar with. I mean, not your problem. We have the same problem, is what I'm we, saying. We lost our right arm, like, what did you lose? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Granted, services. our right arm can transform into, like, I guess anything, since it's already been four different options. Join the bartender. 
I accept tips. Uh, you talk to me too. <laughs> Thanks, but um, you have enough to deal with. And also, dude, I am your bartender, not the other way around. Let's save it for when the world is saved. Shiny buff 2 acquired and then victory boss 3 unlocked. That was easy enough to do. Um, Alright, now we're going to get an automatic event for Yuma, which uh, won't matter. And then we want to train with Chani for expression, and then another automatic event. Uh, nobody can hear me sing now. Uh, sing for, I mean, you can sing for us, like... Uh, the, the concert's not for another four days. I doubt we're going to be doing the concert, but you could at least uh, spend some time with us and... <laughs> Maybe later. What I mean is... I miss my fans. We did get an upgrade, but it's nothing at the moment. So rank 2 for both characters, and then we're currently ranked 2 on ourselves. And we have a 19 plus uh, buff on HP, which is uh, uh, nice to see. Uh, so we want to talk to... Uh, that event happened first. Then we want to talk to uh, Charney and train with him. And then we want to... Do another event, which doesn't take it doesn't matter. So train in expression. Uh, train expression, yes. Dude, when you uh, when are you creating? Uh, dude, when you are creating, don't overthink things and just do it. Expression plus three. Unless it's your dating profile. Expression plus three. So we need a certain attributes to be up so that we can start talking to other characters later on. <laughs> Everyone's just doing the uh, three dots. Did you, did you guys know Fun Fun Tower collapsed? No. Their arcades were so much fun. Uh, did you see it shiny or it is called Fun Fun? Uh, well, I would assume that if something's called Fun Fun, it should be fun, right? <laughs> Had my first kiss there. <laughs> so weird, she just calls it that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just glad that they just like. I'm able to joke about these things. I'll miss going there. No, lots of other fun places. Yeah. When the world turns back to normal, we can all go together. We just need the stone and things will be turn back to normal, right? Mm. What do you even think is inside the stone? Uh, a fun, fun tower or nothing good? Uh, I have absolutely no idea, but the fact that we're going after it, I do not think that this power is anything that's good. So, honestly, I think we're... We still don't know. We can do this. We still don't know what's going on right now. Alright, next day's gonna start. Uh, we have a conversation that's normal, and then we can hang out with Yuna to rank 3. Which there is some stuff that we can do there as well. This is depressing. Yuna, can you sing us a song? <sighs> I'd love to. I need a guitar. Uh, I can get one? Yes. <laughs> I got this. Okay. Uh, nothing changed here. No. Uh, they're saying that we should hang out with uh, Yuna. To rank three, so we'll try and do that. How's my expression doing? She's got an exclamation mark above her 
at the moment. We're nearly at level two. Uh, spend time with her. Yes. Do you think we can go out to the city today? Uh, sure. I want to practice my powers. Okay, so there, uh, we have to do a bunch of stuff once we get to the end, and then there's like a bunch of like options to select from. Um, I should probably check to see what my. Am I in the mood to fight monsters right now? Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go! We can fight some monsters. Uh, I should also check to see which, uh... Which, uh, one I need more of. Tell um, me when you need my healing, okay? I'll be ready. Uh, I'm gonna check my stats for a second. So we're currently, uh... Uh, lacking in confidence. But we're almost there with expression. And we're... Yeah, so I definitely, uh, if I have a choice, uh, do the confidence one first. Because that's lower. Uh, and... Then everything else is... Looks like it's okay, because it's all going to give us random stuff, so... Uh, let's, uh... We're by ourselves, so we only have her, and, uh... That's a bit... I uh, have no idea where we're going. Uh, 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 uh. That we're going the right way. Yeah, this is what off, so maybe I should go back. Let's go back before. Uh, well, after we beat this weapon, we'll back. <laughs> Here first. Because why would you put that there and then have the randomly uh something? So it just ties itself back around. I can know it ties itself back around. Like that's what wasn't just it, it was just an alternative way to get into the fight. Getting the feeling that somebody is watching us. Oh, let's keep moving. This is a new area as well, I believe. I don't remember seeing this. So... Uh, 
I think we uh, just follow the arrows, and that seems to be the right way to go. And then everything else is just like a uh, fight. It's uh, your weak suit. fights because we have a uh, we can get black essence that's probably the way to go uh, let's see where this takes us anything extra yes hey used to search around and look around uh, for items I'm not seeing a way in the game that can give you uh, the blue bar back. You just have to. Uh, you just have to conserve your. Um, conserve the amount that you use. Where is everybody? Are we really the only ones left? I'm gonna wait for the dialogue to finish just in case uh, we lose it, so. I 
nothing I can upgrade yet, but uh, we're building up our black essence uh, tally. So I guess we're at the end now because she said about that. Although we're probably gonna have to fight a big battle here. Yep. I figured because uh, we're not not yet gonna be comfortable. I still have one more heal that I can probably do. Win 
these up pretty close to them. Every now and then we're getting to the Wait, monsters? Yep, she's not listening. Alright, so we've gotten to the end, I believe. So now we have a few options to pick from. Uh, yeah, we have a few options to pick from here. So I have a option between confidence and uh, acceptance. I think I said I was low on uh, confidence, so I'll pick that option because it still gives us the heart. Before the world ended. I was on my way to film a school drama. What role do you think I got? Mean girl, the shy girl. Uh, we're gonna select the mean girl, that'll give us two hearts. And a courage rank up to level one. Nice. You're absolutely right. I was the villain of the show. So, good casting gets his acceptance, be quiet gets his confidence, so, uh, we want to, like, be quiet because we have less confidence than acceptance, so we'll go with that. And it still gives us a, uh, Sorry. harder. So then, all the rest of the options don't matter until we get to... No, it doesn't matter. All the rest of the options don't matter. Well, the next option actually does. Um, we need to, like, get the lucky you will benefit to the apocalypse, but... Uh, the other... to the apocalypse, uh, you know what, we'll go with that one. <laughs> no fair, I was about to say the same thing. Actually, why did you choose my locker back then? Uh, I think it gave us more points actually, it gave us an extra dialogue option. Uh, felt safer opposite the tractor, I panicked, uh, uh, it wasn't because we were panicking. Honestly, it probably would have been like, would it have felt safer? I mean, it, we would have fit more people in if it was things, so maybe that's... Probably better actually Aww, for this option. But I'm so dangerous though. I mean, that is true, but at the same time... Okay, I think they're gone now. <sighs> Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> Not like that. I mean, I mean, literally. Wait, don't these lockers usually have bigger holes in them? 
Okay, this is enough. Let's get out of here. He even tries to open the door. <laughs> Fails. Uh, it's not opening. It's okay, calm down. Oh, I'm trying. Uh. Yeah, just calm. Keep calm. Keep calm about it. Calm down? You calm down! If you keep panicking, you're not gonna get out of the situation. I need to get out of here! I need to get out of here! Eventually, you, Yuna, and a bunch of stuff spill out of the locker. We are never talking about what happened in that locker. Understood? I mean, nothing uh, really happened. A letter. A letter to Jisoo? <sighs> she still has fans. Alright, there we go. Unit rank 3, instant heal 2 unlocked, and skill charge discount level 1, as well as elemental fire 3. So she'll probably do more damage now with her attacks. Uh, you gonna go to the next thing, please? Or do I have to actually click this? Alright, uh, let's... Sure, we'll go with this now. Okay, so skill, gauge, discount, level 1. Skills like Stinger, Blast, 3 Swords, and Whirlwind are 5% cheaper to use. Um, social stat-wise, again, we're almost at level 2 expression. We've just reached level 1 acceptance, confidence, and... Uh, acceptance and courage, and we're almost at level 1 with that. Um... The, so far, we've been collecting a lot of the black and white essences as we go. We have a lot of the abilities so far, um, outside of the uh, all-out attack. Uh, and, but we've been upgrade. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing we get more of these as we go, because it does mention about different ranks for characters, so... That's for those. Um, and we only have three characters at the moment, outside of the little girl that we rescued, but that was she wasn't... Uh, I don't think she's going to be uh, important for the time being. Not save in a while. Uh, still missing one tutorial for something, which we don't know what it's for. But yeah, we uh, uh, finished Act 1. Well, no, sorry. We haven't finished Act 2 yet. Um, we basically did the dungeon. Uh, so now we've got to wait for several days. There was like a hacker that we have to figure out who the, what they're doing so we don't know what's happened there. We rescued a girl and we brought her back. She seems to be a massive fan of Yuna. And also we... Spent some time with our social links, so uh, Chani got a level up, and we trained with him, and we also got Yuna up to rank th two, uh, 3 at the moment, so she's at rank 3 of 7. Uh, and uh, we did a few other things as well, like, I'm, I, again, I, I'm really liking the social aspect with a lot of the vo stuff being voiced, the scavenger hunts we got introduced to, uh, the actual fighting and the combat's pretty good, um, now that we have a little bit more options, I'm getting better healing, I'm getting better more attacks, I'm getting more options and different things to fight. Uh, I, I, I like this game quite a bit for a game that was made by for uh, one most the majority of one person. Uh, it's uh, it's really really good. I'm I think more people need to play this game. Um, I will say that. I definitely think more people should play the game um, if they do get the chance to to, to support it. Support it, I should say uh, as well. Um, considering what it's offering so far, I, I just really, really like it. Um, and it seems like a lot of other people have been enjoying it as well. So we'll uh, see how we go with the next time that we stream, because uh, I think this is a good point for me to stop. Uh, we have, how many days are we at? We've got uh, one day left, right? Two days left. We're at the night time of two days, and then we, we can continue progression 
forward for that. But uh, this game definitely seems like it's got some length to it. The areas is taking a, an hour or two to get through, so... So, and, and we, a lot of exploration. I, get, I wish there was a map, but at the same time, there should be some other stuff that we could try. But, uh, I, again, I think a map would have been very useful, so... Uh, yeah. Um, with all that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Every like, comment, and subscription to this video gets a content monetization. Helps remember my content for so come up with more as many as you find. I upload my past plat as well as Let's Plays and Let's Plays to the YouTube channel. I also have a games list, uh all of the games that I am currently getting the uh, Platinum Trophy for, uh, as well as games I've already completed on stream, uh, along with uh, upcoming games that we have to buy, I think, DLCs as well, also um, games that I've bought already that have DLCs, a whole bunch of other things, all that, all, all that sort of stuff. Uh, for the time being, I have to wait for my channel history to go up on YouTube for some reason before I can get, get access to links. So the only way that I'm going to be able to link stuff on uh, Twitch is by just making not links anymore. So I've had to do that. Uh, at least until that problem fixes itself. Um, right now, uh, the best way to get into, I guess the best way to connect to all my other medias is to be on stream at the end or just use the commands that I have. That's probably about it. I don't know why YouTube decided to do this after I have two years of channel history and then they've decided to remove it, so... And I'm not providing my driver's license or passport because I don't see the point of providing that for this. I'm not even making any money off of YouTube in the first place, so it's like, uh, I don't really see the reason. Uh, also, all of my speedruns and plat reaction videos are on there as well, all in the neat organized playlists for anyone to watch if you miss any of my streams, because of course I have a lot of uh, those. Um, so never have to worry about missing a stream. I always try to upload them as soon as possible onto YouTube within the next uh, 24 hours afterwards, just because there's that rule with Twitch. So I do that anyway, um, just in case. Um, working on more Platinum Pass segments of games we have the Platinum Trophy for, as well as they switching things up so my games on Switch, uh, Logmore, uh, Octopod Traveler, Godera Speedruns, Pokemon Malzox, Triangle Speedruns, I want to continue doing all of those. The Live Live Notes all done. I just need to do a run where I test the Dominion of Hate chapter as well as the uh, other thing as well. Uh, once I finish this game off, I will be able to do the Persona 5 Tactic speedrun to see if that works. That can be another content that I can do as well in between. Uh, but I'm not sure how long this game is, so we'll just have to see how far. So when we, uh, did, we uh, only played for about six hours and we're not even into Act 2 yet, so uh, who knows how long it is. We'll just have to see, uh, depending on what we have to do. Um, and then, of course, the individual levels will come with the ending percent for live live as well, um, along with anything else we're going to be working on for that time, uh, in that time as well. Um, I also upload everything to my YouTube channel because I have a separate annotation on my videos. Before the pen, they deleted one of the separate place for people to able to find my content, which to do so. You also get a notification when I go live, which on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I have 170 followers. We're doing. Octopath travel individual level speedruns, and we also reach affiliate, which means they can monetization as well. You get to make a bunch of subscriber emotes and send this to help support me and the child going forward to the future. Also, get an extra seven days upload before my videos are permitted as well. Uh, and you also get a notification when I go live watching on Twitch. Uh, follow me on Twitter to be notified when I go live. Wish to have you on Discord. I will send you an invite to my friend's Discord server. Close to 2,000 members, still growing strong, and gamers to discuss that as well. I'm very active there, and also get a notification on my blog right as well. And finally, if you know who can my stream overlay that I use from all my future content going forward, you can find a link down below to run that as well. Uh, so, uh, before I get out of here, usually I do a raid, but I did get a raid uh, request before, so if they're still online, I will hit them up with a raid. If they're not, then I will take other requests. Uh, I will just have a look. No one that I'm currently following is alive, so if they're not, we'll just we'll have to see. But uh, I do take on raid requests if anyone has an one. If the person that I'm looking for is not live, it's like oh, okay, never mind. They are live at the moment. I am going to raid them. Uh, they are currently doing some Counter Strike. I've not played that game in a long ass time, a long, long, long time. I've not played Counter Strike, so. Um, I will send you over to them. Let me get the name. I have not played Counter-Strike since, like, I was in high school. Uh, 
with like a bunch of people on like muck up days and stuff that we would have. Uh, so I will send you over to them. Uh, and yeah, uh, let me just make sure this is working. Uh, yes. Uh, so thank you everybody for watching, and with all that being said, have a rest of the day night, where we all are, and I will see you all later.